Mario! Oh, God. There we go. Had to bring the mic over here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome. 69 days until release. Yes. Well, until the next update. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you. Um, Is it the first of spring? I think so it is, maybe. March 20th, 21st. It's spring's here, all right? Don't, don't at me. It's here. We're ready. Are we? I don't know. A lot of cool game, games coming out this year, for sure. Pretty excited about it. A lot of new games actually coming out in the near, like, future here, like, in the next week or two. That, that's that. So that's, that's fun. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, really, it's a good time to be alive. Actually, you know, I was actually thinking over the weekend on Sunday. I was thinking to myself, um, with the amount of games coming out this year, I feel pretty confident in saying that it's a pretty good year in gaming. I think it's going to be a good year in gaming. There's a lot of good things happening this year. And it just makes me content, I guess, so to speak. Um, this means games that comes to the channel, even games that I just play on my off time. Like, overall, I mean, 2017, 2018, that was a rough year for gaming. You know what I mean? What's going on, everybody? How you doing? Hey, Jonathan. How you doing, Jonathan? Hey, Peg or <laughs> Penguin. How you doing, Penguin? Hey, RPG Gamer. What's going on? Hey, Ever Rose. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Bedtime. Hey, Susie. Hey, Yellow. What's going on? How you doing? Hey, Aris. How you doing, Aris? Good to see you. Game Stations. What's going on, Game Station? Jefferson. Jefferson's in the freaking house, yo. Benno. Hey, Benno. How you doing, Benno? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. Give me the red bull. Yeah. Cheers, though. Hey, Thomas. How you doing, Thomas? Hey, Ambers. How you doing, Ambers? Hey, Ping Zone. Hey, Hippie Bop. What's going on? Hey, Rachel. How you doing, Rachel? Glad to see you. Hey, Seema you. What's going on, Seema you? Good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hey, if you're coming in and you just joined, make sure to hit that like button so we can continue. Yeah, so I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good about games this year. Has to be better than the year, you know, 2018 when I believe Fallout 76 came out. That game was a disaster when it first came out. <clears throat> Anyways, I talk about AAA titles. I barely have any AAA games on the channel as it is. There is technically some AAA games on the channel, but they never did well. Why? Well, I don't know. Who knows? Anyways, I don't want to digress. How you doing, Larry? How you doing, Larry? What's going on? Hey, D uh, Damien. Hi how you doing, Dark Wolf? Hey, Dragon Knight. How you doing, Dragon Knight? Outlaw Amber. Good to see you. Welcome in. How you doing? Good to see everybody. You're currently hard pass for Diablo 4? That's strange. There we go. It's very strange. Our managers are like buying yourself more hours every day. Hey, kid, you gotta excuse me. I got an important uh, golf lesson. Right. <laughs> go make some millions, and I'll get back to you later. Shut up. Um, that's strange because a lot of creators, a lot of people, a lot of people in the circle, people online, have given, have given Diablo 4 an incredible... Incredible time, incredible um, review. People really like it. So I think you're the first person that I have seen that has not liked Diablo 4 yet. Yeah. Aris says it's been a while since I caught a live. Well, welcome. Welcome back. <clears throat> um, so there was a comment telling, uh, talking about the jewelry store a little bit. And what was it? Very simple. Um, they were talking about how your store will be consistent over time because of the like the consistent with like one to two customers because you have more than 15 on cash registers and you have more than shopping baskets or like you know you have more stuff than you need i'm gonna have to say that is false why because 15 is 15 right this number is a this 15 number is a number that you have to meet it's like a criteria right if you want to get the capacity to the building limit because there's no way to get 15 across the board there isn't you can't have 15 uh, soda cans which you don't even necessarily need soda in the jewelry there's no way to get 15 point of sales you will always get 20 because one point of sales is 20 i believe is what they were talking about 
Um, we've never had this issue with anything ever um, with the jewelry store. So I 100% believe it's not this whole dealio. I think having more doesn't hurt anything. Honestly, what I think it is, is I believe it is this. The fact that jewelry is here. 50% <laughs> demand. It's not even demand very well. Um, the biggest thing that's demanded right now are donuts in the garment district. But in the midtown here, you look at the expensive jewelry, the cheap jewelry, 50%, 67%. So it's not even a high demand. I think that has to do with the, uh, with the, with the, with everything going on. Yeah. But that's, I don't know. That's just me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So. That's that. Now, today's stream is talking about whether or not or what are we going to get ourselves into when it comes to a new business. Now, easily enough, I'm going to let this kind of run. I believe it, it should be prof profitable, right? I got to change the sign appearance, dude. What the hell am I doing? It should be profitable regardless, right? Let's actually use this arrow thing. It should be profitable. Signs are terrible. And we might have to tinker around with it a little bit, but let's do this. Give it a lime and a and a and a and a something and a red, no, and a green, not Christmas, gray, not that either, orange. Hate all of this. Dark green, that's good. That that, that pops, I guess. I could also I could bring in another whole new a whole new thing, but before we kind of like build in our next business, we have to build in a warehouse. We have to buy a warehouse, get a warehouse, let that kind of come through, um, and then we need to kind of organize, make an organization shift, because our first warehouse is labeled food delivery, and we can keep it food delivery, and then we need to get another warehouse where we're going to be sending more stuff to if we want to get in like a clothing store or anything like that. Now, I don't know which direction to really go. I don't know if I should do a clothing store yet or if I should kind of take advantage of just the market insider and say, you know what? Hell's Kitchen is demanding donuts. We go give them some donuts, you know? I don't know. Haven't really decided quite yet. Yeah. <clears throat> Hey, Reggie, how you doing, Reggie? I had such high hopes for Fallout 76. I haven't played it since the year it was, it was released. I'm right there with you, Reggie. I am right there with you. I haven't played it since release either. I agree. Um, the Garment District is where our donut place is, and that is, like, the hot take. Now, the donut place does good. The coffee shop does good because, also, the cupcake is in high demand. Now, if I do Hell's Kitchen, the donut is in high demand, but nothing else in that coffee shop cupcake would be like 69 percent um murray hill has donuts and eventually cupcakes midtown has croissants cupcakes i like that and cups of coffee and donuts okay so midtown is where i think we're gonna open up a coffee shop now if we open up a coffee shop here in midtown that doesn't necessarily mean we need to open up a new warehouse yet only time we need to open up a new warehouse, I think, is when we're ready to expand into something else we haven't done yet. So, let's peep around Midtown, which is currently where we stand right now, literally in Midtown as is. Let's see if we can find ourselves a nice spot for uh, coffee. Yeah, I guess. Like, for instance, this corner is our jewelry shop. What about this corner? If this corner could be our coffee shop. Definitely could. 15 person capacity though i think that's going to be kind of uh neutral maybe for midtown i'll take a look around though i don't know if anything gets bigger okay so things get bigger uh for midtown that's nice that's wonderful that midtown that's murray hill frick is this midtown murray hill freaking murray hill freaking murray midtown here we go this is what i'm talking about 75 this is a damn well if you haven't seen a a good coffee shop this is it 75 uh capacity 47 index this is our man that's why it's thirty four thousand dollars. all right see i'm starting to understand here yeah hey lisa how you doing 
currently on to episode six of the series, so I have about nine hours to catch up on. Well, I hope you enjoyed the freaking ride. That's all I got to say. I played Hogwarts Legacy for a week and haven't played it since. Really easy to binge big games and never go back. Yeah, I, 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 I can get behind that. Yeah. I'm one of those people myself. I will rent this building out, by the way. The daily rent. This is going to be a big risk. Like, this is not a, this is nothing to sneeze at. So, this is a big deal. Um, I'm right there with you when it comes to certain games. I'm not the, I'm not very good, right? I'm not very good at, um, at playing big games and then going back and playing them again. I usually play them once and I have, like, anxiety where it's like, I don't want to make different decisions because I already knew what decisions I made because I like those decisions that I made. <laughs> I don't want to go back and make different decisions because those decisions I necessarily don't like because that's why I avoided it the first time. Look, I'm a strange individual, right? We're going to do another coffee shop though here and uh, this is going to be something. What do we got? What do we have? This is too big? How is this too big? This can't be too big, right? There's no such thing as too big. No? This can't be too big. Open it up preview holy shit <laughs> that's cool though Could you imagine a coffee shop that big there isn't no capacity right you can bring in anything you want at any time correct like there if it's big like this like this is supermarket level stuff right if it's big you can still use it as a coffee shop right there's no, like, restrictions on this, correct? Someone needs to answer this for me. I'm, a very, I'm very curious if the social class affects the price of the products. That is a very in-depth question, though. That's a good question. Before I go watch episode 6, how are you and Danielle and the animals? We're good. We're doing good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I think grocery store would be great for a 75 store. I think so, too. I'm <laughs> thinking about it. Now, actually, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Let's look at this real quick. Um, if we're in the Midtown. If we're in the Midtown. Let's see here. Midtown. And we go to the demand. They want croissants, cupcakes, cups of coffee, donuts, cheap flowers, hot dogs, cheap gifts, french fries, frozen foods, frozen foods, fresh foods. Like, fresh fru foods and frozen foods are, are, you know, not really at the top, right, of the demand. Hang on a sec. What if you could do... Uh, take me back there. Let's see here. Can you actually do... There's a florist, liquor store, supermarket. Fresh food, frozen food, soda can. I wonder. Can you do supermarket? Like, can you do a Target with a Starbucks in it? Can you have the supermarket and sell coffee at the supermarket? And will that be good or not? What do you think? I kind of, you know, there, there shouldn't be a reason not, no. I wonder if you can mix a supermarket and a coffee place. You don't think so? Which one, King of Retail or Big Ambitions? Big ambitions. There you go. Hey, Molly. How you doing, Molly? What's going on? I don't know. Like, I really don't know. That would be something to experiment, too. If you had, like, a Target with a Starbucks in it. I'm kind of tempted to try it out. I don't think anybody else on YouTube has tried a supermarket in, in a coffee shop together. Coffee. A super... Not a coffee shop. A supermarket selling coffee. Yeah. I hope that works. I was thinking about doing the same in my game. If I was to open up a supermarket, because this is okay, this is like a level of supermarket kind of tech, you know. Like this is a this is a big place that we have here. If I were to open up a supermarket, what would it be called? The coffee will still sell, but at a high rate or not a high rate? That's the real question because it is technically not a coffee shop. Yeah, we would need different counters. I'm kind of tempted to build it just to see if it's even profitable. Yeah. What about a supermarket selling clothes as well? You could have clothes. Like, you could have, like, a Walmart. Or, like, you know, like a Target. Yeah. Target that sells <laughs> Target that sells clothes, food, 
and has Starbucks in it. This can be... Wish me luck. Groceries. Arr. Grocery? Arr. I don't know if I like that. Wish me luck. Wish me... Lucky... Groceries. I don't know how to spell groceries. Yeah. Sounds like a Safeway. They have a, yeah, that's true. Safeway does have it. You know, that's a good way. Cans way. Just do a do a do a Safeway. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's see. Let's 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 dabble into this, shall we? So, this is gonna be way bigger than I was expecting to do today, really. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go to here. Let's go to here. Let's go to here. Let's go to there. Let's see our purchasing agent. Go to purchasing agent, go to seaside, and all that. You watch a creator who had 70 who has a 75 store and has literally everything in it. Well, we're not that's the point. We're not putting everything in it. That's that's where we need to kind of draw the line. We're not putting everything in it. We're only putting certain things in it. Let's see here. That's what needs to know if it's going to be profitable or not. If we're going to have certain things in it, that's going to be okay. Um if not, then we're going to have to have a really really downside or make a adjustment. Now, for a frozen food or for a supermarket for a Safeway. Um, which direction shall we go? Uh, very simple. We want to have cups of coffee. Yeah, we want to have we want to have cups of coffee. We want to have frozen food. I don't know how much frozen food we're going to need. I'm going to go 5,000. I'm going to go 5,000 fresh food. Um, <clears throat> I would like to have croissants on standby as well. So, like you could have, no, actually maybe not croissants yet. Cups of coffee for now. Donuts. I think the coffee comes first before the before the pastries come in. Yeah, we're going to do that. $20,000. One or more per products has not been assigned. Oh, whoops, my bad. Go to the food delivery. Hopefully this all fits in there. I'm hoping it does. At least. Um, we'll deliver it one time. And then what we will do... No. What we will do is we will start to go. Where do I need to go? Get out of the way! Um, I will start to go to... The appliance store... We're gonna need to go to the AJ Peterson store. What time is it? 1500? Let's go to the AJ Peterson store first. And let's get like a, a, a counter of some sort. I don't know, whatever we've done with this Safeway, we're gonna kinda evolve around it. Now Safeway in real life is not a supermarket. I know people are, some people are like, what the hell is a Safeway? Safeway, I mean, okay. Safeway is a super, I don't know. How do you determine what a supermarket is? Um, Cause there's a lot of different terminology, at least where we live. Supermarket, people call supermarket, um, they call Walmart a supermarket, right? Uh, they also call it a super center. They call it Walmart. Um, so, I think of supermarket, I think of, like, everything. I think of, like, a, 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 a clothing department. I think of electronics department. I think of grocery department. I think of everything is in a supermarket. Now, what we're going for is like, a, I guess you could say, again, a Safeway, I, you could say. A Safeway is a grocery store, so it's not a supermarket, so to speak. Um, it's a, it's a, it's something that you would buy groceries at exclusively, and that's it. Just groceries. That's what a Safeway is in real life. Uh, this is, holy hell. <laughs> holy shit. Now, um, the only downside about this is that you're going to need to get... 15, 45, 30, 60, 60, 75. You're going to need to get five coffee machines, I believe, to make this work. If you want it to sit at 75 capacity, of course. 
Um, so think about that. Five coffee machines to make this work. This is why this is a bad idea and this is why this doesn't work. But we're going to try to make it work. That's the idea here. I know some people are watching this not live and they're kind of shitting their pants a little bit. It's okay. Hey, it's all right. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So we're going to need, right, 15 times five is... What the hell is that? Is this... We need to get this up to 75. That's the idea here. Yeah, we need to get up to 75. It's going to be a big thing. This is going to be one of the riskiest things we've ever done. So let's put it all in. Let's see what happens. Let's see if this is a good idea or not. 75, yeah? Is that what 15? Was it 15 times 5? Yeah? That's 75? Oh my god. All right, so that's going to be one thing. Oh, I should probably pay for my stuff before I leave. Okay, so we have five coffee machines, which is crazy. Hey, Eric, how you doing, Eric? Dude, put the thing in your hand, you, you son of a gun. Order this thing. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, we've actually ordered furniture uh, also, right? I think we did that in the last stream, right? You can order the business furniture from the delivery. Now, we have not done it through the phone, but we have ordered, but we haven't done it through the phone yet. Um, this gives me kind of like a, uh, a thought process here where I can sit here and think a little bit. Um, I don't know how much a freezer puts off as far as capacity goes. I don't know if it's like 10, 15 or whatnot. So I'm not un entirely sure on that one. Wine shelf. We could sell wine. We can even sell cigars at a grocery store because in real life, that's what they do. They sell cigars and they sell wine at least. Uh, bakery showcase is also something that we're going to want to get in eventually. I don't know right away. Not right away, but eventually. We're going to need some cabinet with drawers uh, for the coffee shop. We'll do... Two. We're gonna make a coffee corner, so to speak. Hey, Summer Sunshine, how you doing? Yes, I do love spending money on the truck. Uh, that is the key here. Like destroying the truck is is ultimate. Uh, buying cues and experimenting with cues also could be a thing uh, that we do. Now we're gonna need the industrial fridge. Now wait a sec. This is industrial fridge and this is industrial fridge. One's cheaper than the other. Does it matter which one we have? Is it mostly for cosmetics? I do not know the answer to that. You could even think of like a Kmart too. Back in the day, Kmart used to have... Uh, Kmart... I don't even know what I would classify Kmart. I guess a supermarket. Because in Kmart, you had clothes, electronics, you had the corner, you had the blue light special going on, you had the, the, the cafe. Target back in the day used to have a cafe too. I don't know how many industrial fridges I need. Deep frozen versus fresh food? Is that what that is? That's the difference between those? Oh, freezer and fridge. Okay, yeah. One's fridge. I thought they were both the name the same. Okay. Um, yeah, back in the day, you know, Target had a cafe. Kmart had a cafe, you know. Uh, Kmart doesn't really exist anymore. And Target got rid of their cafes. This is going to be a couple of day process, isn't it? Skirt! This is going to be a couple of day process. Now, our profits are going to definitely dip here because we are now adding a $1,300... Oh! $1,300 bill to our um, daily expenses now with this new place. So the longer we go without this place being open, the more money we lose, ultimately. Uh, so it's very important for us to jump on that now. Uh, let's go ahead and start that. Hey Ruth, how you doing Ruth? Good to see ya. <clears throat> it's interesting how some of the countries still have the Safeway supermarket grocery store. In the UK, Safeway was bought out by Morrison's about 20 years ago. My lord, what the heck is a Morrison? <laughs> oh crap, we gotta go grocery store. Or grocery shopping now. Okay, let's open up bright, wide-eyed, and freaking early, 6am. We can get to work right away. That's still 20000 though, right there. That's nice. And the shipment from Seaside did come in, so that should be money out of our pockets. I think, right? Everything should have been shipped. We have a big... We have a lot of pallet space, so there should be everything there. Whoa! Go this way. Perfect. All right, let's continue. Hey, Brian. Hey, Bay Rolla. What's going on? Hey, Sylvie. 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 Is that what that says? Sylvia. Industrial fridge is cheaper at Square Appliances. Is that right? 
Wait, this is our jewelry store. <laughs> hey, Martin. How you doing, Martin? Or Martin? Is it Martin or is it Martin? Wait a sec. No, we're down more, aren't we? Yeah, we are down more. What the heck is that? That's the bank? We are down more. Whoops. For some reason, I thought that was our shop. That is not our shop. Nice apartment you have. Thank you. How's the driving in this game? Is it easy to steer? I don't find it too hard. Some people really have a hard time with it. I can beep and, you know, bop through a lot of traffic pretty, uh, pretty good. I do drive like an A to the hole, though. I took the wrong uh, turn here. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? I almost flipped my truck. My goodness. I didn't even know that was possible. Get out of here. My lord. I just destroyed that taxi. Look at that, dude. It looks so cool, actually. Oh, I love it. The big sign and everything. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hand truck. Um, yep. Let's go. Get inside. Where do I want the coffee? Notoriously, you want the coffee next to the bathroom. Why? Obvious reasons. So I think coffee goes here. It's gonna be kind of a hub. You can make it like a Barnes and Noble thing where like the coffee is like the coffee shop is like in the center of the store almost. We're gonna need a lot of cabinets, aren't we? Again, this is all experimentation too. We're here to experiment. Industrial fridges. This is going to look very, very, like, poor in the beginning. But functionality is better than uh, appearance, baby. As long as we can make it functional, it should be okay. It should be okay. If we can make it functional and profitable, then I will worry about how it looks down the road, right? One thing at a time, of course. You gotta start somewhere, and you have to do it all yourself. You can't hire a freaking crew to do it, right? That's true. Very true. Uh, this. As long as we can put in... The idea here is as long as we can put in... Um... Everything operating now, so that we don't have to worry. You're like, honest? No, I don't want to put this in front of that. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to need more cabinets, of course. As long as we have it working, that's what matters here. We're going to need to hire people, too. So we're going to look at the stats, too, also. I want to see what the freezers or fridges are like. Take me to the biz, man. Let me look at the supermarket. So this is 80 altogether. So that works out. What is that? So four of that, that does 20 each. Okay, so those take 20 each. I'm assuming the uh, freezers also do 20 each. Uh, as long as we're hitting our building limit, that's the key. Got to hit our building limit. Gonna need to buy a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be a long, long day trying to open up this freaking cans way. Here we are. Let's put this here. That. We're gonna need a lot, a lot, a lot of storage cabinets. There we go. Is that there? Okay. So we have an idea now, kind of. Uh, let's take a look at our storage real quick at our warehouse. Let's see how everything is. Take me to here. Show my inventory, please, and thank you. Fresh foods. Okay, so the fresh foods made it. That's good. Frozen foods also made it. We're going to need paper bags, obviously. Uh, that's good. Real quick. Expensive gifts uh, run out in two days, so we're going to need to get an order in. So let's make sure we do an order real quick. Go to our purchasing agents, please. Uh, here. Yes. 
1,000? Zero? 3,000? And we'll order that. One delivery. Okay. Let's go get everything else. And the reason why I'm doing this compared to like ordering through the phone tab is it's easier for me to keep tabs on things. By the way, this is the parking garage. I am scared to put it in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the reason why I'm doing it by hand is it's easier for me to count and kind of visualize a little bit more. Uh, just like reading. I'm not a very good reader. I'm not very good at comprehending, comprehending reading, but I'm, I'm, I'm a visual learner. Uh, same with like, uh, you know, uh, when it comes to games where uh, you have to read the dialogue yourself compared to somebody reading it to you, like a voice actor, voice actress, whatever it might be. It's easier for me to learn what's going on in the story, learn what's happening in the story when uh, there is voice actors compared to me reading it myself. There we go. That's probably due to undiagnosed dyslexia that I might have. <laughs> but, um, you know. I, I'm not like I'm not disregarding that I'm 100% believe in that so who knows I don't even know how you even get diagnosed with that stuff I don't even know who you talk to who's the professional you talk to to learn if you don't know how to understand things very well or have a hard time reading okay this is not where I wanted to be I will go to the appliance store though because uh, there's a couple of things I think I want. Like, I want the fridge. I, I don't think you can actually get a soda fridge here. We're going to need a lot of soda fridges. Whoop. There we go. Sick, dude. Okay. This. Actually, truck? I wish they had like a bigger hand truck. I wish they had one of the Ikea hand trucks in here. <laughs> uh, shopping baskets. We're going to need a ton of those as well. Too bad you can't get like a shopping cart. I'm sure you probably can in the future. But we're going to need a lot of these. And then um, we have the fridges. Then we're going to need to get the freezers. Go. Well, the freezers in. You should hire people now so you can train them. That's a good idea. I heard Barnes and Noble. No, I'm hope I'm opening a a grocery store. I'm opening a grocery store with a Starbucks inside of it. <clears throat> this is nice. Why you eat a very late lunch? That sounds good. A nice little lunch. Go. Are they open right now? Saturday? Let's see if they're open. This is for the cans way. I need customer service, please. Customer service. Clean up on aisle F. Okay, no one over the age of 51, please. We're going to look for... $5,000 for 10 candidates? Yeah, I, I agree. Sign me up. Sign me up. It's like grocery stores that start unions, you know? That's right, yeah. Um, it's like grocery stores that start unions. We, we cannot unionize! They cannot unionize on us. Yeah, they. <laughs> Evil corporation. Yeah? Yeah, alright. Very well. Um, let's also get a checkout counter. Let's get these. I don't know. Maybe I have enough. Hopefully I have enough. Um, it's 81,000. Holy crap. I'm going to be spending a lot of money here before you know it. You have a phone call for me? Excuse me? Um, give me a second. I have a phone call for me. My bad.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Back in the flash. Okay. Um, right. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Putting my industrial freezer in the freaking uh, truck. This is going to get expensive. We better hope this, this works. If this doesn't work, they're going to... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so how many is that in the truck? 13 out of 20. Okay. Um, let's also look at trash cans, trash bins, uh, whatever the heck you want to call them. Uh, bakery showcase. They're actually pretty cheap, the bakery showcase. The checkout counter, very important. Um, I'm assuming you're going to need at least four to make the building happy. So we'll look into that. Just to make it happy. I don't know how the cues work. I'm going to have to, like, experiment with the cues a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I didn't want to add the truck again, but that's fine. I have two trucks now with me. The hand trucks. Let's see if I can get to the grocery store without having to learn a new path. Well, sorry. Let me get to the grocery store as this new route is about to take place now. If I go straight down all the way, and then you make a left, and then what happens? Then you uh, kill yourself on the way into the store with a street light that did not even budge. I didn't even know I clipped it there, but I did clip it. Let's go to the left. Yeah! That was the van from Baby's Day Out. Okay, I think I'm way too... I think I'm too many streets down. Yeah, I remember this place. I just need to go one more down, I think. And then to the left, and there it is. All right. Not 100% there yet. Bam. Okay. This checkout counter. There we are. I do like the cans away name. Maybe. Maybe I'm a little biased still. This. You. Go. Come on, come on, come on. There we are. Perfect. Perfect. Gonna need to also get like little cash registers too, I believe. I think, right? Oh, these are the checkout counters. Uh, let's do them. Uh, you want them at the, like, you know, the front of the store, so to speak, right? So we go, like, maybe, like, they come in right there? I don't know. Work in progress. Work in progress, for sure. Right there. Maybe, like, an entrance slash exit kind of thing? I kind of like that. Right there. I don't know if that's even. And all right, there. Something like that. Yeah, I like it. All right. And then we'll have like this is the entrance, that's the exit kind of thing. I don't think that traditionally is how that. Well, I don't know how you would traditionally do that, but it's working in this one. Go this <clears throat> this 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 okay. and what I'll do is I will have a register here, register here. We're gonna need multiple registers for this to work, I think too. Let me take a look and see where we're at where this whole capacity thing is. Uh, okay, checkout counter is actually used as a uh, POS system. Wait, no, so that's 30. So checkout counter is actually used as 30. So we don't need that many uh, checkout counters. That's good to know. Okay. Now, I do wonder... No, no, no. Y yeah. I was going to say, I do wonder... <laughs> if I had the coffee machines here... I don't know if, like, you can't tell me. Okay, maybe you can. I don't know. This is all experimented. If you had someone working this register and somebody came up and ordered a coffee, would that person walk from this register to this coffee shop if you did not put a register over here or have anybody manned over here? Or 
is this going to work in the terms of if I put a register right here, everybody's going to check out with their groceries at the Starbucks, so to speak, right? And not use these counters at all because this would be like their closest convenient uh, counter. Oh, crap, dude. I can see there's already going to be a lot of problems going on with this. The Starbucks thing might not work. We might have to pivot. We might have to pivot and just open up another coffee shop somewhere else. I don't think it's going to work now thinking about it. I mean, it could not visually. It, it could work um, technically, but visually, I don't think it will work, if that makes sense. Go like this, grab this, this, that, that there. And then we'll kind of like sort this out. Like this. There we go. A little close for comfort now, isn't it? What if we were to like slide everything over one, maybe? That looks fine. That looks so off-centered. It's unreal. We can actually pack this one up if we wanted to. We can kind of expand this out a bit. Or at least move this over a little bit. There we go. That. And then like that. And then like Kind of lines up, but not perfectly. Yeah, this is interesting. This is going to be very interesting indeed. Put some fences in between it so it would be unlogical to buy coffee at the checkout counter. Then, hmm. This is a tough one. This is definitely a tough one for sure. Grab this. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to kind of go through with it and try my best and see what happens. Technicality here. Out of a technicality, we are sitting at... A 50 out of 75 because our cups of coffee we need uh, one two oh industrial machines only take 10 I thought they took 15 oh my god so we need two more industrial machines okay this is a little out of this is a little chaotic I'm not spending two more industrial coffee machines for this Okay, so the supermarket slash coffee idea is not going to happen. Straight up. So I'm just going to break this down. I'm going to just make this a traditional whatchamajigger here. It's not going to happen. At least not going to happen with the money that we have right now. If you have millions of dollars, it will happen. Probably. Um, but right now, it just isn't logical. So we're going to tear this down. Instead, I'm going to I'm gonna get into the business of having another uh, place that's going to be um, a coffee shop. We're going to go back to Midtown. Because Midtown was ours, like, the first and foremost, right? So here, 75, that's ridiculous. We don't need that for the coffee shop. This is all coffee shop. I think, I think I'm going to go back here. Yeah, I think this is going to be my best bet. This is right on the jewelry store. Uh, we will uh, get into this uh, dealio here. And hopefully, this will do well. And uh, we will get this. So we will rent out this bu business. And this will be a coffee shop. And we will name this... cup my cans and that will be the start of that business i'll do the settings later but um we'll dive into that a little bit more of course i'm spending money here so i should probably finish this up as fast as i can i will put these back and we will transfer these over now with this 15 capacity technically i only need like one coffee machine um or have two coffee machines just to be I, I actually do need two coffee machines i'm thinking about it but that's what we're gonna do all right well that's the beauty of it baby that's the beauty of it that's the beauty of it oh 
that's you know this is to be fair though this is like the fun part of it right this is the fun little bit of it now i'm gonna actually i'm gonna keep this checkout counter here just in case if i want to use it in the future i can you know just aesthetically maybe add like two counters or whatever four counters five counters six counters whatever it might be is there anything else i can drop off here while i'm here yeah the industrial freezers yeah the industrial freezers will drop off here somewhere uh, let's actually take these though we'll kind of reposition these now and this is what we will have we will have a fresh food we will have a industrial freezer i used to work in the industrial freezer department it was terrible it actually sucked i hated it everything about it terrible there we go there we are Is this over here here do is go like this let's get those over a little bit whoa holy hell i'm a thirty thousand dollars what the heck did i do what are you talking about thirty thousand dollars huh somebody needs to explain something to me right away what just happened We've never made almost third like that was twenty nine thousand dollars we just made. What did we just do? I, I don't know, but I'm I'm for it. I guess we're gonna need two more. Uh, what is this? Two more fresh foods? Two more fresh food. Just to make it look good. That, that that's strange. <laughs> Super strange. Oh, all right. We gotta eat something. Is there food around here or anything? Do we have a food? There is food. Nice. Illegal parking? I'll show you illegal parking. Hey, Shorty. How you doing, Shorty? $15. My freaking ass. Oh, shit. It's closed. It is midnight. Don't ever honk at me again, you wild Porsche. the heck is this can i actually buy hot dogs here yeah. hot dog hot dog get your freaking uh, new yorker you son of a gun how dare you y'all are out here though this is actually kind of cool i didn't notice this before all right let's go home before we die here's the coffee shop though uh we can drop off all the stuff real quick let's do it Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, do it. Let's drop off all the stuff real quick. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We only need two here. Only two. Ding dong. Uh, pack it up. Place it there. Pack it up. Take it with us. As far as the other uh, industrial coffees go, machines, we could keep them or we could sell them. If we sell them, we're gonna lose money for them. If we keep them, we can possibly use them for future installments for different uh, coffee shops in the future in different districts. Yeah, so there's that. I don't know what street is ours. I think it's one more down. Uh, it is not one more down. This is the right street. Anytime I see Joko Tech, I gotta remember that's our street. Must have done something right to earn that much. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. All right, let's go inside, shall we? Let's eat some food. We got to go grocery shopping as well. Let's take some of that. Have a little bit of happiness. Two hours of gameplay. Stay up till four in the morning because of insomnia as a bitch. Wake up at like 9 a.m. Got some employees for the cans way, which is good. Um, well, you know, let's see what we got. Potentially... Uh, no morning sh oh my god part-time my god part-time 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 
all you guys want is part-time. Nobody wants full-time anymore. You know how hard it is to get a full-time job? Sometimes. Depending on where you live. And people just want part-time. But then again, they could have they could want a part-time job for multiple reasons. They could be going to school, right? I get it. I'm actually gonna hold on to this stuff, I think, for right now. I'm gonna place this stuff over into the my closet. Let's see, closet. Yar. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's go to AJ Peterson again. Um, and then we're going to have to go to the appliance store at some point, you know. I love that pink van. I got to make a U-turn. Yep. Don't ever honk at me again. Now, I will be real with you. This has been kind of strange. Um... <clears throat> How much, like, just the fact of how much money we've made, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I think that was just a lucky day. That might have been a lucky day. You're closed today? Are you kidding me? Is the appliance store open today? The appliance store open? Privately owned? No, 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 no. Um... Okay, you guys are open. Good. Let's go to the appliance store, I guess. I think you should get you should you should get a pink van. You should get a pink van. Get a pink anything, really. Let's go. Now there's not a lot we, not a lot we can actually get from this. I mean, we can get a couple of soda machines, and I do want to add soda machines to the. Uh, grocery store that's a legal part <clears throat> so i do want to add a, some some soda machines how much are the soda machines i've got are they 10 a piece oh i guess we can get the industrials here too salad bar does a salad bar go no this goes into a fast food place yeah we could even have gifts if we wanted to right we're gonna need a storage shelf but it still needs shopping baskets Was it? A, yeah, I needed two of these bad boys. Yeah, I'm gonna need two of those. Uh, where's your sh uh, cart? Yeah, thank you for your cart. Grab. Uh, let's actually get rid of that. Let's go this, this, two more of those. Quite a bit of these actually. More people coming in. That's nice. Cleaning station. We're gonna definitely need a cleaning station too. That should be enough with the big purchases as far as like freezers and fridges and all that stuff. Where did we park? This is a Lincoln Navigator? Actually, that's not a Lincoln Navigator. <clears throat> or like a Lincoln, no, Lincoln Continental is the car. Uh, let's go, so Briggs Fridge. I guess I could actually, um, I guess I could actually I guess I could actually check to see what the fridge, uh, fridge drinks fridges. You can sell anything in a, in any store. Facts, you can, but does it make sense and is it worth it? That's the real question. It's, it'd be kind of something you go to like a supermarket, you go to a grocery store, supermarket, and they say we have no, we have no such thing, no such thing. As a car, you have to use uh, your hands. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's go to which one has a soda machine? Cans get enough of you. That does, right? Okay, drinks give 20 each. So I bought four, so we should be fine there. That should be 80 altogether. Dropping baskets is 30. So really I only need to buy three, and I bought four. Okay. This should be actually ready to go here. Ready to be operated here soon. Shop barriers. 
or sorry, cues we, we might need. I could add gifts to this Hansway, right? Definitely for sure. Let's get a cleaning station and get a couple more of these storage shelves. Uh -huh. Let's order that out. Supposed to have a cans and cream on every corner? That's what I'm saying. Every corner. All right. I think the logistics here, uh, excuse me, put it in there. <gasps> yeah, I should have enough. There you go. I think the logistics here is, I think it's here. I think, I think we can open up the grocery store technically. Uh, once we get, you know, these employees, look at that five cups, not five guys, but five cups, coffee and croissants. I haven't seen that one yet. That's pretty cool. We'll take a look at these employees here in a sec and then I'll train them up and whatnot. Hey! Thank you. I got 10 people for the grocery store and hoping that I can have a lot of people work the grocery store. Just like a real grocery store, yeah? I think that was actually my road. That was my road. I think one of the hardest things to do in this game is actually uh, distinct where you at. It'd be actually kind of cool. I don't... Are these... Hang on a sec. I want to see this real quick. I want to look at this. Are these signs actually a thing, or are they just there for visual for visual effects? Third Avenue, Fifth Street. Okay, yeah. I think if I were to put in my two cents on development of this game, it'd be nice to have. Never mind. Somebody already came up with it. <laughs> Look at it. It's right there. You just can't see it, or you. I mean, you can see it, but. You know it is. I was saying you could. It'd be cool to have like the street name somewhere posted somewhere, but it's way down there. And maybe if that was like put in a different location, I'd be better with that. They think of everything in this game, don't they? All right, um, let's get rid of that one. Let's go here. Let's grab this stuff. Let's continue inside. Add this. Place this. Is that there? Good. Oh. This in the back, I guess, yeah. This, this in the back. Yep. Yeah, so this is, this is, I mean, we have to stock it up, but other than that, this is actually technically ready to go. Already. Yes, wine, cigars, and flowers. That makes the most perfect sense in a grocery store. This is not, I mean, we're not treating this as a super center. We're definitely treating this as a grocery store. This isn't going to be like a Walmart. This is actually kind of a funny thing because um, the drink machine uh, is used as... I mean, the way it works is that the employee has to grab it and pick it up and use it. You know what I mean? Not the customer. So if it's going to work the way I think it's going to work, the cash years, the cash years should have to go to the drink machine and shouldn't have to take it out to give to the customers, correct? Or is that just different because it's a grocery store? That I'm not sure. It depends on what kind of shop you have. Interesting. I didn't know it. Uh, the way employees worked in this game all depended on shop types. This is news to me. That's kind of cool. Come on now. That's kind of cool. I 
If you need shopping baskets, the customers will do all the work. Well, yeah, we, we've seen that. Shopping baskets, the customers do all the work, but I don't think the employees do anything with any shopping basket anywhere, right? Here, I assume they're going to come through the store, too, because the AI are just work that way, right? Let's go like that. Cleaning station will place in the back. Okay. We'll have, like, food that needs to be delivered here, but first we need to actually look into this. Full-time. That's good. Um, Part-time. Clean work environment. Full-time. That's good. Lydia. Part-time. 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 Part-time works four days a week. Okay. Part-time. No evening shifts. Part-time. Part-time. No more. Good lord. Good lord. Only two full-time people came out of that. Interesting. Okay, well, um, let's go ahead and hire Lydia and uh, Evie. Hire them. And let's put them on training as we set this up. Customer service. Sign them. Train them. Send them. Um, sign. Train. Okay. So they'll be doing that. We'll hire some of those part-timers, though. We definitely will. Uh, we're also going to need to start figuring out logistics here a bit before the next day comes through. Let's talk to our logistics manager. Ooh. We're going to need... Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take off the, uh, the jewelry store. Um, and I'm going to switch it to the Safeway, Handsway. And we are going to put in, um, I don't know, minimum stock of 2,000 for now on fresh food and 2,000 for frozen food because I don't know exactly how much we need. Uh, soda, we could do at least maybe like 500. And paper bags, I expect a lot. So let's do 4,000. No, dude, that's too much. We'll do 2,000 too. 2,000 as well. As far as the jewelry store, I'll have to take care of the jewelry store or hire another logistics manager to kind of take care of that as well. Or, sorry, just hire uh, another um, another uh, delivery driver, right? Does a logistic manager only take care of one delivery driver or multiple delivery drivers? I have a feeling it's multiple, right? Anyways, let's go back here to team. Check out this, see how this is going. 84%, 100%, 72%. So this can be changed. Can we actually take this out then? Whoops. Um, how do you take them off a of training? Sign employees. Ah, just like that. Okay, take off Lucas now. And we'll kind of go down. Uh, we'll go, we'll add Quintavius. We'll add Carl. And we're kind of at the point now where it's like, just kind of do what you're going to do with everybody. Because we're not like directing, we're not in, we're not caught in a bind here as far as money wise and trying to outperform ourselves. That, uh, lawyers seem all right. Cleaning, purchasing, lawyer, 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 customer service. We'll go ahead and do that. I mean, hell, if you can do those people too. Cool. There we go. Cool. All right. That looks pretty good. Yeah. David, how you doing, David? <clears throat> okay. So tomorrow, this should be stocked up. And then eventually, we're going to have to figure out what to do with the jewelry store, which is actually kind of the thing we already talked about this morning, or I guess at the beginning of the stream. We already expected to get a new warehouse in, and we should probably 100% expect to get a new warehouse in. Let's take a look at warehouses. Take out retails. Let's take out banks. Let's take out office supply storage for right now. We want to get a new warehouse. It is what it is. I kind of would like to get a warehouse next to our warehouse. Um, and this stuff could be used for like uh, we could put gifts in there, like uh, the gifts, the um, 
the jewelry, stuff like that, right? Rent the building out for $71 a day. That just adds to it. So we'll do that. That's our second warehouse. We're going to need to buy some pallets for it. Now, as a uh, little free-handed I have been today with money, I did not go to the grocery store. F me sideways. Do you think that salad is open? Yeah, let's do that. Um, as free-handedly I've been with the money. Look at this son of a gun. You're telling me they have this giant thing? For a salad bar? For a rest for a fast food no. Dude, I could have made a coffee shop one hundred percent in in this big thing. I should have done that. Look at this. Look at what they have for just a fast food joint. Dude, I could have did a coffee shop. Frick me. Pizza twenty dollars. Well, that sounds about right. Huh. Salad for twelve dollars is not right. Nobody is buying a salad for twelve dollars. Yeah, dude, I could have, I could have made a coffee shop in that, in the, in the supermarket. If they could do fast food, I can do coffee. I mean, it looks ridiculous, I'll be real with you, but it is what it is. It's the big sound. What the, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. You closed while I was in line? I was in line before you closed. You should still serve me. What is this city? The city that never sleeps my ass? Is that New York City or is that Las Vegas? I think it's Las Vegas. New York is just... New York is on a whole nother level. What the hell was that, dude? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna die and do the starvation. You open? Liquor store? Might as well, I'm desperate. Can I buy like some Skittles? Jesus. What in the world? They don't even serve me. Look at the liquor store. Yeah, look at this. This is a massive liquor store as well. Everything is changing in my head. Can you, like, if I bought a bottle of wine, you need a shopping basket? Don't insult me. Don't insult me. Give me a shopping basket. I, I want to test this out. I haven't tested this out yet. Bring me out. consume hey that gives me food all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just we're gonna go ham on some wine right now we're gonna have wine for dinner 105 dollars on wine and then i'm gonna go ahead and drive behind the wheel i'm gonna have six bottles of wine yeah, i'm gonna have four bottles of wine and then i'm gonna get behind the wheel do not do this. First of all, who's having six bottles of wine? I know, right? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody's having six bottles of wine. All to themselves. Hey, it's hood babies. <sighs> all right. Pallets. We're going to need to get pallets. Is this the right road? I don't know if this is the right road. Yes, this is the right road, because there's Joko right there. Sick. That's a landmark for me now. Joko. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, when I was a kid, dude, you want to know something funny? When I was a kid, I got super upset. I got super upset. Dude, I got super upset as a child. Why? Very, very, very simple. I would get mad at my parents for drinking a Pepsi and driving at the same time. I said, you need to stop drinking and driving. They told us not to do this in school. My parents tried to sit there and tell me, look, it's a Pepsi. I said, I don't care. You're drinking and driving. They told us not to do this in school. Twelve thousand dollars. That's actually a pretty decent day, even like considering the fact that we have like such a terrible, terrible uh, uh, daily expense right now, like overhead that we're not dealing with. That's not being dealt with right now. Damn, I always feel like AJ is this way. AJ is not this way. They didn't think of a mini map. I think they didn't want to break the immersion. <laughs> 
I could see that being like a mod in the future though. A mini map or something. Actually, you know what? F that noise, dude. Break immersion. You telling me nobody uses GPS? Give me a mini map. Let's get the other warehouse up and going now. Yeah, let's get the other warehouse up and rolling. They worried about you from that day on. <laughs> Wonder which one do you guys think in Big Ambitions versus King of Retail? They kind of similar. I will probably wind up getting both though. If you wind up getting both, then, then okay. But I mean, if I had to choose between Big Ambitions and King of Retail, I would choose uh, Big Ambitions. Yeah, we, we were very well aware of setting destinations on the Google map. This is day nine after all. <laughs> um, I don't want to push the envelope with anything else right now. Trash bin. I would like a trash bin though. Give me four of those. Shop barriers. I guess the cues, right? We also need to think about bringing those in, too. Ah, oh, crap. Don't forget groceries. Good idea. We're going to experiment with the shop barriers because I'm not like, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Dude, there's nobody buying these many appliances all in this city. If there's this many people buying appliances all in the city, I'm going bankrupt tomorrow. Um, I don't know how these shop barriers do work. We will have to, uh, we'll have to look into this. Let's go. We might have to eat wine for the rest of the night, though. But I don't see myself... I don't see myself being out too late today, but I could be wrong. Go to our warehouse first. Drop off these pallets, and then we'll go to a... Uh, we'll go take a look at the grocery store and see how it's doing. See how it's doing, doing. Oh. Gotta go right here. There's our other warehouse. It's a tiny little one, isn't it? That's kind of cool, though. So this is where we're going to put the gifts. This is where we're going to put the jewelry stuff. All that good stuff. Non-food items will go in here. Uh, I don't need two hand trucks. Now do I? No. I love that it's next door. That's very convenient for, for me. We're going to have to buy a new vehicle, too, to transport these stuff. Goodness gracious. Costs just keep on going up now, don't they? Now, for gifts and jewelry and stuff, we shouldn't need a lot of pallets and shelving off at the first at bat, you know, like right off the bat. We don't need to do, to do that. This should be fine for what it's worth. So we shouldn't have to do more than that. Well, I mean, as in more as in like the ones that we have now, but I think I actually might take this hand truck. I'm going to take the rest of these pallet shelves and actually put it in this warehouse instead. Because if we're going to need more food, then we're going to need more, um, like, gifts and stuff. Yeah, look at this. You can see for yourself kind of crazy how much storage we already have in here. Kind of wrap this around. go and slowly but surely we'll start phasing out the uh the gifts in here and just making this food exclusive only now i think i need to give a name to the other warehouse though yeah Ooh, i like it mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, that's my wine. Uh, trash bin, shop barriers, drink fridge. Okay, good. We're good to go. Let's go to the grocery store. Coming out!
I'm not familiar. Nope, I'm way off here. But I will take some hot dog. Ah! Nobody's at their hot dog cart? What the heck, dude? There's like 20 hot dog carts around. Nobody's at them? What are you talking about? When do these hot dog carts open? Are you gentlemen working this joint? What the heck? You telling me they just sit there just to sit there? What is this nonsense? It's the middle of the day on a Monday. People should be buying hot dogs. Why is there makes no <laughs> this makes no sense? There's a bunch of tables out here too, and there's like island in the middle of traffic. What is going on in this town? This town makes absolutely no sense. You kick me out while I'm in line for a freaking salad? You don't have hot dogs ready to go at freaking 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m.? Ridiculous. I should question my existence of even being here. I don't even think this place is worth it. I am way, like, overcharged for unpracticalities here. Hey, Mel. How you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's put... Trash bins there. Mm. Like, actually, thinking about it, I don't know what I'm going to do with these counters. I'm probably going to take them back and take them to a future... Um, let's put the trash can right here. A future coffee shop now. Ultimately, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. You were not in line for a salad, mister? What are you talking about? They're like, get out of here. How dare you? You don't deserve to be here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to kind of deconstruct all this here, pack this up, and uh, this is going to go to future coffee, because we have a bunch of coffee machines as it is, and I do want to open up a coffee place in Midtown here, right? I think we're in Midtown, Midtown or whatever the other place is called, that's what I'm thinking. Why not put a salad bar in your grocery store? Can you do it? I guess you can, right? You have to fill up the salad bar. Or does it kind of just exist? Oh, look at that, though. Look at that. Look at the food. Oh, wonderful. Holy hell. We have definitely uh, did it correctly. This looks great. We get the sodas here. This looks really good. I'm very happy with all that. So because HR are taking care of them, no, they're still training. I don't know if that's an eight. That's a, that's a regular train. That's not an HR train. Okay. Ooh, we're going to need a third person. Maybe possibly. Actually, no, this will be the supermarket where you like, you go in, like you go to Walmart, right? You go to Walmart, you go to Walmart to, uh, you know, to check out. There's like 20 checkout lines and only one is open. And then they say, you know what, sir? Go to self-checkout. Go to self-checkout. Like, dude, I have a, I have a basket full of groceries. Go to self-checkout. What are you talking about? Go to self-checkout. Let's have some wine. There we go. F, I just drank your... I drank my wine in front of your salad, green salad nonsense. I have like $300 worth of gro go to self checkout. Why? Because, sir. Anytime I go to Target, dude, it's aisle one is the only one open. And then, like, after that, it's all self checkout. Do it yourself. We don't want to do it for you. How dare you pay us $20 an hour? Well, you know, I don't know. Not, I'm not the economy. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? I think this is how it's done. Right? Yes, the starting wage for Target is $20 an hour. At where I live again. Well, depending on where you live. They actually had, I think a few months ago, they had starting uh, wages at $25 an hour as like a promo. <laughs> they were doing a promo or something. They're like, yeah, 
we need people to uh, to work for us. So anybody that wants to work at Target, they can start working at twenty five dollars an hour. They had it blasted like a giant sign on the side of the building, dude. It's crazy. Honestly, why can't we have self checkout in this game? Someone needs to bring up that uh, that conversation. So the grocery store is now in all technical working order. So that's good. That's great. Uh, we just need to kind of set the boundaries here, set the schedule. Uh, we got to fix a tinker a little bit, right? Because we are, what are we doing here? We need, oh, another drink machine. That's fine. So let's make sure we do that. Actually, we need, wait a sec. Do we need two more drink machines? No, just one more. One more. Let's add that last piece in there. Hey, Spooky, how you doing, Spooky? What's going on? Hey, Tiara, Tiara, what's going on? The customer service in grocery store is non-existent. Max, dude. I remember working in a grocery store. I was in the frozen food department, right? Our life, my life, was all dedicated to frozen food. First of all, in a grocery store, frozen food section is a terrible place <laughs> to work. I hated it so much. I was cold all the time. And, um... I don't even know what to do with this awkward, like, I mean, I, I guess, you know what I'll do? I, I'll show you what I'll do. Um, like, my life was dedicated to frozen foods, right? And they didn't train us or tell us anything about the store. So, like, I would be working uh, frozen foods, placing stuff in the freezers and fridges and stuff. And then, like, the sweet old lady would come up to me and say, hey, young man, um, do you know where the, uh, do you know where the... Do you know where the jasmine rice is? Do you know what aisle that is? And I'd be like, uh... And I'm thinking in my head, there's like 32 aisles, and you want me to know where the jasmine rice is. And I'm like, uh... I don't, unfortunately. And then, like, the older, you know, the, the, the this lady would, like, be like, huh. I thought you worked for this place. How do you not know where the jasmine rice is? You young whippersnappers need to learn how to work better. Like, Jesus Christ. You uh, whippersnappers, you older generation needs to learn how to train us better. We don't train ourselves. Huh? What are you talking about? You think I trained myself to not know where jasmine rice was? Absolutely not. I didn't want this world. I just came into it. <laughs> sometimes though, the old people would get really, really impatient with you sometimes. If you did not know the answer to every question they had. I understand they have, you know, I, I, I get it. I get it, you know. Time was of the essence. I understand. I get it. I get it. I get it. I know. Time was of the essence. Sorry. That's all I could really say is sorry and, like, smile. That was it. Sorry about that. My bad. Hey, Sandra. How you doing, Sandra? Gotta catch up with day eight. Just wanted to stop in and say keep being awesome. Well, you keep being awesome, Sandra. You keep being awesome, yeah? I do think you train yourself to be this, the way you are. <laughs> and that's like... Uh... <laughs> exactly. You know what? No argument. I'll take that. <laughs> okay. So, soda's going to be fine there. Our... They should be... Good to go? Yeah, okay. Train. Okay. 23 years old and 38 years old. Of course, I, I'll, I'll tell you, though. Uh, when I was working at the grocery store, I think I was like 18 or 19 years old. So, let's be real here. My head was in a different space then. I, I had a lot of other things on my mind. I had to worry about... 
the uh, the male anatomy taking over my mental situation, and then I had to also think about the next Call of Duty DLC pack coming out next week. That was, you know, those were like top priorities in my life back then, probably. <laughs> The number two top priority. <clears throat> As I've gotten older, the drive for certain things have definitely altered. <laughs> you might be 18, 19, 20 years old, and you might be a whippersnapper, I tell you, but there's going to come a day where you wake up in the morning and be like, this shit's not worth it anymore. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm done. Okay. We still didn't go grocery shopping, so, you know. I'm going to do that first thing in the morning, but I'm glad that I just got this all taken care of. I'm, I'm glad that this is finally ready to go for the most part. We have to make the opening hours. We have to put the uh, paper bags in there. I think, actually, they should be... They should be going there, right? Paper bag. Yeah, they should be going there. No problem. Um, cool. Cool. Let's take a look at, actually, no, we don't need to take a look at anything. We're doing just fine. Cool. All right. Nice. I think when we wake up in the morning, we should see money, profit, effort. $17,000. Ruth Nelson called in sick. All right. Let's go grocery shopping first thing in the morning. I'm going to walk there. Take a nice stroll. Take a nice lance stroll, shall I? Hey, Darren, how are you? Good to see you. I'm getting too old for this shit. Famous line from Lethal Weapon. Is it sad that I've never seen Lethal Weapon? Should I be crucified? I feel like I should. When I was a kid, I asked this old guy once why old people read the Bible so much, and he said he was cramming for his finals. I never understood that till now. That's actually hilarious. That guy had a good sense of humor. That guy probably had a very... that The person that answers that just like that, one, has a great sense of humor. Two, um, probably has a lot of good stories to tell. <laughs> 100%, you know? That's the kind of person you want to, like, chill out with, almost. You know what I mean? Good for him. Why are you reading the Bible, sir? I don't know, because it's, like, the number one selling book of all time. You should watch that movie, Lethal Weapon. Who stars in Lethal Weapon? Someone famous, right? <laughs> Did I set the schedule yet? Not yet. I'm going to wait until I get my employees in and then I'm going to set the schedule. It's a nice little morning brisk walk to the grocery store. I kind of wish I lived in an area where, you know, um... You could like walk to everything, you know, like walk to a grocery store, walk to a restaurant, walk to wherever you needed. It was all in walking distance, kind of like, you know, in real life New York, because I always wanted to experience that kind of level of like detail when it came to like Seinfeld. Anytime I watch Seinfeld, they would all just like walk everywhere. You know, it's like, yeah, you know, I want to get to know my like block or like the next block over. We're gonna need to get some gas. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take us over to the. Hang on a sec. Take us over to the to the copy shop. Yeah, we're gonna go to the copy shop now. Pulling out. They drive way too much in Seinfeld, though. No, dude. Anytime they like, they get in a car, and they think like. They drive to the Hamptons, and that's like a, like, like, driving to the Hamptons was like a big deal. It was like a, a, a getaway, right? It's like, come on. Or when they went and saw the Bubble Boy, like, they're like, this is a big deal. We're driving an hour out of the city. Uh-oh. 
Like, dude, I drive an hour just to get to Walmart. Is it coffee? No, it's jewelry. Ah, ah, ah. I love the fact that we have the coffee shop right next to the jewelry shop. Hey, John Boy, how you doing? Oh, has D Danny Glover and Mel Gibson. Very well. One of my favorite Mel Gibson movies, probably, is um, We Were Soldiers. Yeah? I know there's a lot of movies to pick from. But, yeah, I choose that one. Like this, like this, like this. Like that. This is going to be a nice little coffee shop. We're going to have to also hire some people for this as well. Perfect. Perfect. I kind of like this, yeah. Two registers. Yeah. Two registers. Little little tiny coffee place here on the corner. I like it. I do. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Might as well add a trash bin too. Why not? They need it. Come on, come on, come on. Gosh, been... Perfect. Hang on a sec. I got a text, I think. Might be important. It was not a text. And it was not important. Okay. Let's call up our, our boys at Anderson, whatever the frick. We want to do a business for the... Or cut my cans. Uh, we want customer service. I want five employees potentially from this. And I will take that. And walk out the door. All right. We'll let that kind of marinate a little bit. Um, as far as our grocery store goes, everything's working well. Checkout counter is out of paper bags. We need paper bags over there, I guess. How do we not have paper bags? Did we not, did we not put paper bags on the... Thing? Or is our truck just too small? Maybe our truck's too small. Manage delivery plan. It says 2000. Unless I have to physically put it into the register myself, maybe. Let's go see. Coming through. Oh, I'm disappointed. Don't forget Damon Wayans and Clayne Crawford in this TV series. We were, we were Soldiers is a great film. I agree. I like that film. That and Nicolas Cage. Uh, Nicolas Cage and Wind Talkers. Anybody ever seen Wind Talkers? And Nicolas Cage? I like that movie too. Uh, I turned the in way, dude. Whoop. We're talking about the Seinfeld and then Larry David shows up in chat. That'd be hilarious. Is that right? Is that what's up? Larry Davis. Oh, Larry Davis. How you doing, Larry Davis? So close. So close. Just how he pops up in some of the Seinfeld episodes, right? I think he shows up in like two episodes. Are you kidding me? I can't get to the truck. Don't oh, get me. I distinctly remember him showing up at like a little tiny like newspaper stand selling bubble gum. And then I remember him like showing up in like a bridge or something at night. I think. Damn it, dude. This truck is not practical, is it? Oh, yeah, we're only here for paper bags. Oh, wait, no, these are filled with paper bags. We just need more paper bags. Okay, so we need a... Uh, okay, I, I get it. We need actually a set delivery plan of 4,000 since we have four registers. 
Got it. 4,000. Hopefully that doesn't make the storage in the back too kind of weird. But we'll have to see. So that should be taken care of. Don't come at me, Crown Vic. Good babies. Okay, so the paper bag should be done. Paper bag should be done. And then business has no opening hours. We'll get that eventually when we're done doing our employees. Now, the next thing we need to kind of focus on is the coffee shop. I would like to get um, donuts, I think, in the coffee shop, too, with cupcakes. Maybe no donuts. Maybe coffees and cupcakes. Maybe I should do that. Coffee, cupcakes, croissants. Croissants. No donuts. Just because we don't have a lot of room. The only thing with... Wait, actually, yeah, we could actually do that. Because it's only a 15 capacity place. Oh, dude, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna do we're gonna do all. We're gonna do all. We're gonna do the I think we're gonna do donuts. You know what? Hang on a sec. Let me park in the middle of the intersection here real quick. I'll give you a definitive answer here. Bakery showcase. Okay, cupcakes take ten. That means we would need two cupcake bakery showcases. Donuts is twenty, so we would need only one industrial fryer machine. Okay. You know what? This actually might work. One fryer machine because it's a it's a it's a place of 20, 15, sorry. Okay. All right. Okay, I have an idea. Would you ever play KSP 2? I uh, probably not. No. Probably not. I probably wouldn't play KSP only because there's a lot of technicalities there that it, I don't understand myself. And uh, it probably would be a frustrating thing to watch me play than an enjoyable thing to watch me play. Um, okay, so let's go with two of these. Um, another one of uh, da, 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 these. Luckily, these, are, these aren't actually priced too bad. We have the coffee. Um... If we want to get croissants, we're going to need two more. I have an idea for this. <laughs> you, have, you honestly remind me of a caffeinated astral spiff? What the frick is an astral spiff? Hey, there we go. Nice. That's pretty sick. I have it and it's very confusing. Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't think I would do... I don't think I would fare too well with that. Is a Canadian speedrunner? Same genuine in reaction, slightly less energy? Yo. Speedrunning? I wouldn't be good at speedrun. I don't think I have the patience to be a speedrunner. If I were to speedrun a game, I'm trying to think of what game I would actually speedrun. I wonder if maybe you say, like, high energy. I don't... I mean, you could probably argue I do have high energy. I think it's more or less high enthusiasm. But that's just me trying to entertain people more than anything. If I stand here and be like, Hello everybody, welcome to Big Ambitions. Today we are going to open up a uh, coffee shop. We're also going to be uh, opening up a supermarket. And then... Um, once we do that, we're going to open up a warehouse. Once we open up the warehouse, it should be fine. It should be good. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you do... Uh, yeah, you know, make sure to hit that like button because that would be uh, much appreciated. You can say like monotone, and then you switch it up. Oh my goodness! Why do I not know how to drive to my own coffee shop, yo? Is this is this right? Damn it. 
Damn it. I'm a, I'm a block down. <laughs> hey yo. Betty, Betty, welcome. Thank you for the re-up, Betty. Thank you for the re-up. I appreciate that. Big shout out to you, Betty. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for the uh, continued support. Hope you're doing well on a Monday, right? Today's Monday. Hope you're doing well on a Monday. So this is going to be a tight squeeze, but we're going to squeeze it in. If there's anything about anything I've ever learned, sitting at the uh, height of 5'6". That's right. Sitting at the height of 5'6". <laughs> uh, no. Standing at the height of 5'6". Even though my driver's license does say uh, otherwise. But I know how to get into... I know how to squeeze into places here. You know what I mean? We're going to squeeze into... We're going to squeeze this in. Should be fun. Should be good. What I want to have is I want to have a section for... Well, actually, this isn't close enough. I want to have a section for donuts. I want to have a section for cupcakes. I want to have a section for croissants. Ultimately, what I want. These people will not uh, sit here. This is not a sitting coffee shop. You come in, you get what you want, and you get the hell out. That's exactly what happens here, okay? I'm not here to hold anybody's hand. We're not here to do anything else, all right? We're here... For business you continue walking out and you go the other direction you know what i just realized that's not going to work like that that works like that perfect 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 and then we'll get registers and then uh deep fryer Oh no, dude. Oh, I don't think I might be able to fit the deep fryer in. You know, if we don't do donuts, it's fine. I'll do the cup of coffee, do the croissants, and do the um cupcakes. That's fine. That's fine. Honestly, it is. We're at capacity, right? Almost. This is actually kind of interesting. How come it doesn't show up the um <clears throat> bakery showcase? doesn't show the bakery showcase. Is that because there's nothing in it? But it doesn't show the bakery showcase. Alright, well. Let's take this. And let's eventually, in the morrow, get ourselves a very, very... Whoops. Cool little register. What is the most profitable business you have done so far in the game? Probably gift shop. The first freaking thing. Yeah, the gift shop has been the most profitable uh, business so far. It's my left. Ah! I can't drive, dude. You ever go to like those places where like they have mini golf, you know? They got mini golf and they got like some go-karts and things like that. That's fun. Just... You know, if you want to race me with the go-karts, just be prepared. You might need to sign a waiver or something to race with me. I work at College Bookstore Starbucks, and this honestly looks like a far better work environment. I would 100% work here for minimum wage. <laughs> wow, that's great to hear. I love that. I'm doing, I'm doing some serious work over here, then. Okay, let's go. 8 a.m. is fine. We should be able to get our registers now. We should be good to go. Would you hold my hand? Uh, excuse me, which uh, hand holding are we doing? Oh, hold your hand. Never mind. I, I remember. I remember what I said. <laughs> Sometimes I say stuff that I don't remember what I say, but I remember what I said. <laughs> Maybe the showcase doesn't show up because it's undefined right now. That could be. It probably will show up. Is it this way? Is it this way? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Client store should be right here. AJ Peterson. Okay, so no, we're one more down. Really? I think I passed it. Should be this way or something? Down to the left? I 
Put it in. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Right there. Perfect. Back it up. Okay, so we're going to need uh, storage shelves too, I believe, right? Yeah, storage shelves, and we're going to need two registers for visual effects. No. I think two storage shelves. Actually, we're going to need a cleaning station too. What are this stuff? Hey, Waffle, how you doing, Waffle? Tiara! Tiara! As I'm effing up the name as always. Thank you for the re-up on the membership. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. Yes, exactly. Well as well. Hope you, hopefully you are doing well as well. Good to see you. Oh, perfect. Catherine wants to be a full-time barista. Hell yeah, dude. I'm about that life. Uh, where are you going, sir? Come in here. I'm not going to do the soda machine. Anything else that I need? I don't think so. I think I'm good. Okay, we'll go to the coffee shop. We'll set up this up. Now, this all should be technically ready to go. However, I would love to get these people, again, hired, trained, you know, the whole process, the whole nine yards, coming through. Is this it? This is not it. That's the cans away. And one more down. I'm the other way. I'm the other, I'm, I'm the other direction. All right. I got to remember that. I remember this road. I think I'm on this road right here. Right there, yep, there I am. I'm gonna pull right on in, excuse me, pardon me. Thank you. Sick. Okay. Hand truck, get rid of the other one. That, that, and that right now. Okay, register, place it. Perfect. Other register. Ah, uh, place it. Perfect. Sword shelf. Place it somewhere back there. I don't know. Good luck. There's a, not a lot of room to work with. Perfect. Cleaning station. Perfect. Now, I could actually put another storage, I believe, in there. Back there. Okay, good. That's looking pretty good. Let's see what we have here. Full-time, no morning shift. You applied for a coffee shop. What the hell logic is that, Beatrice? 21 years old? Beatrice? 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 What kind of logic is that? Um. Okay. So this stuff needs to be a part of logistics. Correct? Correct. Now, in order to do this, we have to get another driver, right? No, we got to get another truck. We got to buy a truck. I'm assuming we will deliver up to three destinations. I'm assuming if you have a bigger... Does, okay, so does a bigger truck give you more destinations? Maybe somebody knows this in chat. This is a genuine question. Does a bigger truck give you more places to deliver or does it matter? For instance, the van, Caleb Watson, can only go up to three destinations at once. If we had the truck, will that number increase to five or something? No? Hello, Autumn. How you doing, Autumn? What's going on, Autumn? Hans has clearly never been to a Starbucks at 5 p.m. and it shows. The only time I've ever been to a Starbucks at 5 p.m. was at Target. Okay. Do 
You gave up on food and now you own two gift shops slash jewelry stores making 29000 daily? Watch out now. <laughs> Watch out now. Eduardo knows exactly how to make money. The truck increases the locations. All right. The max is four. I think with man with max manager, because Biden is maxed out at four. So the truck increases. So we can at least experiment. We need another vehicle as it is. So the thought process behind this is I'll buy a truck. I'll replace the truck in this warehouse. I'll bring the van to the second warehouse. That's what we'll do. Eight months with Autumn. Eight months. Look at that, Autumn. That's almost nine months. We could have had a virtual baby. My goodness gracious. Thank you for the support. I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. I think Darren and I had a baby a few months ago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go to the car dealership. Truck dealership. Let's do that. McSqueeze says, hello, all you beautiful people. Been catching up on the last big ambition stream. It's had to see the jewelry store and not succeed. Where are we at now? Currently where we're at. By the way, thank you for the re-up and for the support on that. That was very kind. Currently where we're at right now is that we are, we, we are in the process at this given time, at this right moment. We are in the process of opening up a grocery store and a coffee shop another coffee shop all at the same time yeah we're doing we're doing some work over here we're doing two things at once we're juggling we're juggling we're juggling baby that was an incredible drift it's also incredible drift i think this is the truck shop general u.s trucks perfect food babies sick uh, what the heck? Sick, dude. What color is our van? Does anybody know the color color of our van? When is the next uh, members meetup? In April. Yeah, in April. Yeah, we just had a members meetup. Uh, I can't remember if it was last. It, yeah, it wasn't yesterday. It was the Sunday before. What colors are... We have a black van, I believe. I think I'm going to go black truck. Yeah, black truck. $98,000. Easy, dude. Notice the biggest difference from using other vehicles in the world? Or the... Oh, vehicles in the Vord. The Vord is more slippery. Is that right? This is a big investment, as you can probably tell. Yeah, I think the van is black. Hooray! Okay, you stay right there. Um, <clears throat> There it is. Okay, I was going to say, where's our truck? We're going to drop this off at the... Um, at the warehouse now. Oh my god, I'm gonna get in this thing. Are you sure you want me driving this game? Watch out! Coming out! I'm a big truck, therefore, you have to watch out for me, not me watch out for you. Whoa! Has no turn radius. My goodness gracious. Now, the idea here. Can I just park this right here? Illegally? No? Oh, this is gonna be tough. I need to pull the van out and put the truck in. That's illegal parking? It's illegal parking? This is all illegal parking? I think it's just because I'm a big ass truck. So hold on a sec. Does it beep while backing up? I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't. I'll be real with you. God damn, Hood Babies is on again. Don't tow my truck. Excuse me. Okay. Send it. 
That's a full send. Okay, now let's go get the truck. Thank you. People are finishing the training. It's all crazy. Okay. I might have to plow my way through. You got to get out of the way. Oh my god. I think I'm in a monster truck. Okay, we might have a problem here. We might have a problem. Can I, uh... <laughs> uh you gotta get out of the way pulling out thank you let me go forward my goodness gracious watch out banana coming through laffy taffy banana probably the best laffy taffy out there hands down don't at me Goodness. Hood baby in my ear as I'm plowing a taxi. Never thought in my world I would ever say a sentence like that. Um, logistics. No driver. Um, we do have a driver. No task. You're gonna be assigned to our warehouse. Our food warehouse. Where's our food warehouse? No, no, no. That's food delivery. You're, you're free delivery. Your task, my good man. Your task, very simple. You work the damn thing. Your delivery driving skills is low. What's the point of having a high del delivery driver skill, I wonder? I don't even know. Am I forgetting how to do this? Manage driver, that's it. Drag employee to assign. Driver doesn't have enough skill to drive this vehicle. Well, I guess I answered that fucking question. Uh. Right. Nobody told me this. You're out of business hours? Kiss my business hours. Okay. So we have no choice but to take this out. And we have to put this in here for now. I will illegally park. I gotta get the van. We got to set everything back up the way it was or everything's going to break on us. We do not want anything to break on us. We then need to figure out hire another truck driver so that they can drive our freaking thing. Damn it, dude. Put it in there. Yeah, it looks like I might have to drive the truck. Or I'm gonna deliver something. I'm gonna have to do deliveries myself. The only the only reason why we're doing this is to fix the coffee shop. Because the I thought my truck was towed. The only reason why we're doing this is because um We need the cop the coffee shop's the only thing that needs to be supplied. Not that big of a deal. We could do it ourselves. I honestly thought it was gone. My God. Okie dokie. So this will go into the food once we have that taken care of. Anyways, my Lord, that's all I gotta say. We gotta hire a truck driver. We gotta do their freaking, you know, that and this and this and that. Yeah, all right. You have no task. Uh, dis disregard that, my good man. You do have a task. Your task is to do this. That's your task. Okay. All right. We're back to normal, I think, right? Do I have to redo your delivery plans? No. You're good to go. All right, good man. So the only thing that we have to do is actually deliver to the coffee shop. Now, where the hell is my truck? I think my truck's at the dealership. So I got to walk to the dealership, too, real quick. Lord have mercy. 
It's 70? Is that how much you need for a truck driver? 70? Or is it 75? Anybody know? 70? 75? Yeah, the next question is, how much skill is needed? It's one thing after another, isn't it? One thing after another. Hmm. Here we are. Let's go. Head on out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm going to do also, I have a bunch of stuff. And the stuff that I have, the stuff that I have currently, is stuff that I don't need right now either. So I'm going to actually kind of get rid of this stuff. I don't need it right now. I could sell it. Frick me, dude. You know what? I think I might just sell it. Really, honestly. I might just sell it. Except for this. Except for those two. But the, the, the cabinet with drawers I might sell. The cabinet with drawers I might sell. All six of them. It's just going to take up space. And I don't want it to take up space. get rid of this okay let's go to the coffee shop right now yeah let's go to the coffee shop and then we'll drop off the rest of the stuff I'm gonna see oh my god I'm gonna see if I don't know dude question is though am i really gonna have donuts at that place or am i just gonna have i think you know what i'm not gonna have donuts i'm not gonna have donuts i'm not gonna have donuts at the second coffee shop i'm just gonna have the croissants i'm just gonna have the cupcakes i'm gonna sell this coffee shop coffee thing i'm a bobber i'm gonna get jammed in the rectum or how much money I just lost on that. Yeah. I'll just take the loss. I think that's what I'm going to do. That That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And then let's hope that we have a high profit day tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Not the coffee machine. It was the uh, donut machine. I didn't get jammed that hard then. Okay. Never mind. Four thousand dollars, rightfully so. Rightfully so. You need to be trained. You need to be trained. And then today we're gonna call who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Who are you gonna call? Who are you gonna call? Who are you gonna call? Hands. Don't call me. Just text me. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Food delivery. Food delivery. Oh. Other place? Call? Who are you gonna call? Uh. Food delivery. We need a delivery driver. Honestly, just one. I'm fine with one. There we go. $1,300 for that? That's crazy, dude. Right, let's actually play some games before we leave. You down for donuts? Same, dude. The driver needs to be at 50%. Okay, that's not too far off then.
if there's something strange sleeping in your bed. I need to go to the casino tomorrow. Is that uh, literal or is that uh, virtual? Let's take a look at our coffee people. Let's take a look at our coffee people. Uh, I kind of lost track of all the people here. A cup of cans. Okay, cup of cans. Full time high. Great. Full time no morning shifts. You're out of your freaking mind. Eloise, full time high. Great. Full time high, no night shifts. Well that that I can I can I can deal with that. Let's go Catherine. Let's go Eloise. Uh Quintavious wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go Joel, and let's go Beatrice. It's actually a pretty good hit here out of all five of these. I can use all five of these people, now thinking about it. Yeah, I can use all five of these people. You will be trained for customer service, I believe, right? So I can have two full times. Wait a sec, yeah. Full time, good. Full time, good. Uh, full time, also good. Full time, also good. Wow, I can't believe we got that many full time people. And then one part timer, and that part timer is going to be the cleaner. Part time cleaner. Okay, truck driver should come tomorrow. I don't really need to do much except for the coffee shop. What do we have in here? Okay. We're very close to opening up our grocery store. Where's our inventory at? Three days, paper bags will go away. Soda cans will go away. Okay, we'll wait on that. We're not quite there yet. We want the grocery store to be open 24-7. Well, not 24-7, sorry, excuse me. We want the grocery store to be open seven days a week. Ah! Ah. I'm always upset with the way I drive. And I'm the one driving. God, jeez Louise. I'm thinking here, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm using my thinking tank. Using my thinking tank, using my thinking tank. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to supply the coffee shop right now. The, the second coffee shop. That's the wrong street. Well, to supply the coffee shop until we can actually get those employees going. All right, the truck driver coming, I guess. Whoop. Whoop. Which is kind of sucks. Why does it... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does it suck? Because we have to, like, kind of baby this, like, little stock here for right now. God, Hood Babies comes on 90% of the time. I could take away the delivery driver for now. Yeah, I kind of loaded up myself. That's a good idea. What do I have in here? Cupcakes? Well, we're going to need some of those. 100%. Let's take some of those. I could use a pallet or a, a truck. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Four boxes of cupcakes should do the trick. Okay. 
Paper bags also should do the trick. Cups of coffee, obviously. Cups of coffee. Man, dude, there is so much into this game, like, numbers-wise and all that. You gotta, like, be on top of your game here. And nine times out of ten, I'm not on top of anything. I don't have my dun dun dun, -dun set up. Damn it. Well, there's the joke gonna die into the atmosphere of YouTube. Um... Cupcakes, croissants. We want to get croissants in. That's the next thing we want. I think everything else is fine. Can we actually do that? Um, Let's do that. Let's talk to our purchasing agent that deals with the food. Here we go. My god, why am I having a hard time seeing today? Uh, We can put this at zero. We'll put this at 200. This is zero. Cupcake. 15,000 cupcakes. What the hell am I doing with 15,000 cupcakes? Okay, let's put this at zero. Put this at zero. I'm looking for a croissant. There's no croissants. Oh, there it is. 1,000 croissants. I'm not even going to be able to make this minimum order. Okay, I might have to do this uh, myself then. I might need to get the croissants from the warehouse. Uh, that's fine. I can do that. Yeah. I should make Susie co-host. I know, right? She puts in the real work, yo. She puts in hardcore work. She does. She's an MVP. She's a star. She's a star in my eyes, baby. Okay, let's go to the warehouse. We'll grab some croissants, and then that coffee shop should be loaded up and ready to go. I might even buy some more paper bags while I'm here, too. Might as well have more paper bags. Hey, Edgar. How you doing, Edgar? Reminds me of like a Mamma Mia startup. I don't even know if I want to do that. No disrespect to Mamma Mia because because there isn't any, but like that movie has gone in my house way, far too many times for me to, to to respect it going forward. I respect it, and then I'm you know what? What I just said made no sense. Um, disregard what I just said. Just don't even. Act. I just. I, I'm stuttering. I'm I'm actually just. That's where I'm at right now. There was a glitch in the system. I apologize. Catering for the biggest birthday party ever. <laughs> I'm trying to listen to songs I haven't, like, heard, like, 18 times already. Like, freaking hood babies. Coming through. Well, that was something, wasn't it? That was your fault. That was not my fault. It's your fault that you didn't cross the intersection when the light was green and look both ways. Totally wasn't the fault of the black van that just ran the red light. You should check yourself before you wreck yourself. That's what Ice Cube said. Ice Cube's actually coming uh, locally here soon. Him in Too Short. He's gonna start performing soon. I think it's in May or something rather. I don't even know. Sometime. I don't need to be here. I need to go one more that way.
Mamma Mia, here I go. Again. How can I resist you, Mamma Mia? How does it show again? My, my. Just how much I've missed you. You a Mamma Mia? You, you, you watch Mamma Mia? You a Mamma Mia fan? What the hell? That guy freaked out. Are you a Mamma Mia fan, Jefferson? Go, 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 go. This guy is at it. This guy is actually out for rage. Rightfully so. This is the first time I've ever seen the AI, like, back up and everything. Usually the AI doesn't even back up or anything. I did cause this catastrophe here. Now look at the taxi and the truck are getting at it. They're pissed off at each other. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> okay. Did that put the stuff in? No? Okay. We wanna go cupcakes. Cupcakes. Does that fix it? Yeah, okay, good. Cupcakes. This will be uh, croissants. Croissants. Uh, let's go um, croissants. Probably way more croissants than I needed to be real, if I'm being real with you. I'm being real with you. Croissants in there? Croissant. Not cupcake. Croissant. I'm sorry. Dude, this thing is like too too much UI is going on here, dude. Too much UI. Too much UI. Croissant. There we go. My goodness gracious. Um, cups of coffee, obviously. Hey, Demon, how you doing? Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Go. Uh, Bella says good afternoon as well. Hey, Viper Viper says, I finally caught one of your live streams of Big Ambitions. Love this game and been waiting a long time. Are you on task where you have to earn 2 million? I am on task where I have to earn 2 million. That is absolutely correct. Good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Paper bags. This should uh, do with everything. This, this coffee place is going to be ready to go. All it's going to need is a little bit of TLC. And a little bit no scrub action as well. There we go. I think it's a nice little spot here. It should do well. I, I spend money on on interior as well. So let's do a little bit of that too. This is going to look ugly. We haven't done this wallpaper yet. This is the reason why I'm doing it. That's not too bad. 7,000? I kind of like it. We don't have a speaker in here. Probably do with the speaker. Damn it, we need a speaker. <laughs> Alright, let's go put this back in the warehouse. Not this song. I just heard this song. It's one more down. Uh, yes, I think. No, one more down. One more down. How many puppies do I have? I have uh, two dogs. Yeah, two little dogs. I have two dogs and three guinea pigs. And I somehow have a driver's license as well. Hey, how you doing? There we go. 
Send it! Looks like I'm in a tunnel of wallpaper. <laughs> Alright, do I need to re I gotta reset this guy? No, oh no, he's good. He's automatically set. Oh, fantastic. Good. I'm glad I don't need to re reassign him. That's, that's wonderful. Wonderful news for me. All right, let's go home. Let's go. Turn left. Ah, ah, ah. There we go. Hold it in. Brick. That's legal. Hey, I don't care if I'm winning on the technicality. I'm winning, baby. That's legal. Don't at me. Somebody clip me, I dare you. I'll freaking hunt you down. I just made $17,000 that day. Look at me go. It's like no effort. <laughs> we will still sleep until like 7. What is the best leftovers of all time? I'm talking casually leftovers. Like, I think the best leftovers is like Chinese food. Me personally. Like, pizza is there, but like, I think Chinese food beats pizza in the leftover game. Honestly. I think it beats it. You're still training? Everybody's still training. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think the rest of the stuff, the rest of the things I need to do today. Is all done at home. It's all done through time. Because I just need to get these employees situated. We at least know you take better care of your pups than digital cars? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's a stretch and a half, dude. There we are. Good stuff. Okay, so this should be our truck driver, I believe. Damn it, I wish it would have been Chuck Norris as my delivery driver. Could you have imagined? He would have been kicking ass and taking names with that truck. All right, we'll hire this person regardless. This is so close. Absolutely so close. Okay. Gotta wait for the rest of the day still for our other other employees. Meatloaf, meatloaf is the best. I haven't had meatloaf in such a long time. I like meatloaf. I just haven't had it in such a long time. Meatloaf, some mashed potatoes, yeah. Now the question is, do you eat your meatloaf with ketchup? Or do you eat it with barbecue sauce? We'll do another hit. To be last training them. Uh, no. You're part time. You're the cleaning person. Part time. Here we go. I make really good egg salad. I'm not a big egg salad person. You drive like a Floridian? Chili is better the second day? That's 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 a good one too. Chili is good. Next day. Any kind of soup is better the second day to me? Has enough time to like sit and chill and marinate, yeah? I'm not a... And you know, I don't know. Homemade chicken noodle soup is good. But I'm not like too, too crazy about it. Maybe because I had it a lot as a kid too. Okay, we're just delegating our employees right now. You eat it with ketchup? That's what I'm talking about. I've been fast testing if social class have influence on prices or products, and I must say it really does. Does it really? Yeah. Training, 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 training. Okay, everybody's training. Good. Get that out. I mix the ketchup in with the meatloaf before I bake it. That's pretty good. Mi mi uh, meatloaf and uh, mac and cheese. Good combo. Great combo. Again. Okay. 
Perfect. Okay. Now, these people should be able to... I mean, 94%, right? Yeah, that's fine. They're going to go straight to the grocery store. Um, should we give them a grocery store outfit? This will be grocery. You will wear that. Whatever the hell that is, that is... No. You're wearing that. I like that. You are also wearing jeans. But you're wearing like... Yeah, yeah. You're wearing the, 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 the washed ones. What is it called? What are they called? Acid? Acid? Acid wash? Is that what they're called? Acid? You know what I'm talking about. The hat? You will not wear a hat in my grocery store. You will, though, wear an apron. Because, you know, that's what I had to wear in the frozen food section. So, therefore, you must, too. Females. Uh, females, you are... Whoops. You are wearing the same clothing. You don't have the same color? What the heck? I don't have the same color for the female? Okay, the females will wear green. Then, they will wear green. They'll wear, like, a blue pant. Dude, I, the females have Converse, too. I'm a little jealous about that, dude. I'm highly jealous. You will wear black Converse. No hat for you. You will also wear an apron. And it will be a... Orange one. Save. We will also make a coffee shop thing coffee shop at the coffee shop you will wear a turtleneck hands down um you will also wear dress pants that are black you will wear dress shoes as well you will wear no hat and you then you will ruin the entire outfit with a green with a green starbucks apron females uh females you will wear a casual t-shirt black you will also wear nice black slacks as well to go with your... No, you're not making coffee in high heels. With black Converse. And then again, you will ruin the outfit with a Starbucks green apron. Perfect. All right, that's looking pretty good. Put you into the grocery. And then let's add you as well to a grocery. And you... Well, cool. Okay, so now we got to dive into the grocery store and uh, give it its rightful hours, I guess. Yeah, so let's do that. Full time? Right, I deserve that. Uh, whoops, can we get rid of that? Uh, I've done did it. Okay. Um, 9 a.m. to 1700. Uh, I probably will extend these hours, but at least for the first, like, day or so <laughs> i will uh just leave as is for now today's saturday so they're gonna be getting ready for sunday we're also gonna need a um a cleaner realize for this which should be okay because we should be able to do that one candidate for food delivery um uh, seven candidates in hands in order those are the attorneys Hired, 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 hired. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. You don't need any lawyers. Okay. Where did everything go? Food delivery. Oh, right here. Cut my cans. No, thank you. Uh, this is it right here. Part-time cleaning. Part-time four days a week. Cleaning. Part-time. 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 Cleaning full time. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's our person. You know what? Can we actually call these people up and say, give me a dedicated cleaner? Are we out of like business hours or something? You're out of business hours? God. All right, that's fine. Hey, not given. How are you? Hands is not the only one. I don't drink cereal, milk, or soup broth either. Thank you. Somebody understands. That's another person that understands. See, I'm not the only one, you fools. Y'all look crazy. All right. 
Don't tell Amanda? Yeah. $26,000? Can you press autofill? You can, yeah. Okay. Ah, is it 8 a.m.? It is 8 a.m. All right, so let's see here. Let's talk with them. Them? No. Them. All them. Business for hands away. We want a cleaner. Actually, give me two. A two. Give me with two. Perfect. Everybody else? How's everybody else doing? No task assigned? Yeah, because you need to be trained up. Your fault? Today is Sunday. The grocery store is not open today. But I'm going to make it 24 hours. I'm going to make it 24 hours. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry, your little soul. Uh, frick, I trained them on the wrong one. I, tra I trained... Uh, I trained this person on customer service when I should have been doing cleaning. All right. Delivery drivers are getting paid way less than the uh, cashiers. Right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And now we just need that to kind of go through. Let them come in. Give me till 8 a.m. again. I have a theory that picky eaters were never told by their parents, eat that all up. They are starving people out there. Probably. At one point they were told that. How dare you? They're starving people out there. I, I, I remember that being told to my siblings a lot because they would not, uh, they would not really uh, do what they needed to do at the dinner table. I remember that. Perfect. That should be our cleaner. Okay, yeah, full time cleaning. That works. That works. Or hands away. We'll throw them in right right away. Yeah, throw them in right away. Hands away. Today's gonna be the first day that the grocery store is open. I think right. Today is Monday, so today should be the first day. People should be out there doing their thing that You're missing out on tiger bread what the heck is tiger bread okay i think we only need to do this a couple more days um actually today we need to wait this out right <clears throat> We're just kind of like waiting is all. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. But there we go. That's a, another cleaner. That could be actually, oh God. That could be a cleaner for, we could turn that cleaner into um, grocery store or coffee shop. Part-time cleaner, F. <laughs> actually, that's fine. We'll deal with that. Part-time cleaner. Um, they will be assigned to the coffee shop now. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are my cans? And then this person down here, Pentavius, can actually be fired. Sorry. Hate to do it to you, buddy. Hate to do it, but I already have another Quintavius. Can't have two. Okay. Um, up here, schedule here. Alexander will work this eventually, and then we will put our other people in there eventually when that's ready to, uh, ready, good and ready to go. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and put everybody else back. Training. Make sure their satisfaction is good. Hi. 
things? There's so much, dude. There is. There's a lot of things you got to remember, right? There is, there is, there is. That's the delivery driver? Yeah. Cleaning. Well, we don't need to do that. Actually, you know what? While we'll wait, yeah, we'll, we'll unassign them. And then just train them until we're ready to use them. Okay, that's good. Cool. Where my watch going? Okay, let's see. Let's see what happened to the um, to the grocery store, maybe. Bunch of people called in sick. Twenty thousand dollars is there. Okay, let me take a look. I might actually need to run out. Yeah, run out of paper bags, cheap gifts, expensive gifts, so on and so forth. Purchasing agent. Um, warehouse food delivery. Five hundred. Can we get? Uh, we cannot. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Cheap, okay, wait. Cheap gifts, 2,000. Cigars, expensive. Frick, dude. What is this? Zero. At 7,000, that works. Okay, so let's order that. Then we will order this. Soda cans, cheap gifts, paper bags. Just so I can get that order in. We'll order that. Cool. All right, that's looking pretty good. We're doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing fine. Yeah, we're doing great, actually. I got a text from the wife. She said, uh... I don't really understand what she said, but she said something to me. I think she was informing me on something. I honestly do not know what the frick she said. Okay. Continue. Wait a sec. We did our training today, I think, right? I know this is like the not so uh, exciting part of this, but this is stuff that needs to be done. And we are going to capitalize on this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. You. That. 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 do that now he is 58 or this person is 58 in the delivery skill now i might be able to add them to the other giddy up yeah might as well i can add them up add them to the other giddy up yeah that's nice the other warehouse let's go i never made that much with my law firm, but mine only has a max of 10. In fact, now mine is losing money. Wait, what the heck? Mine has a max of 10. That's 25,000 right there. What is my law firm at? What is it making? Oh, an average of 7,000? Satisfaction, 99%, baby. Um, Supermarket. Yeah, look at that. The supermarket's in full effect right now. Um, so that's really cool. S customer satisfaction kind of sucks, but don't worry. I think this will um, this will change over time when we uh, kind of do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, especially adding more people in there. Marketing could be something that we could dabble into with this business at least. Come get your fuck. I will slipped it. Come get your uh... <laughs> come get your freaking coupons here. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. Hit me with the medium and hit me with the small. Never have I ever gone to a uh, fast food restaurant and ordered a small anything. Come on now. If I'm here, I'm here. Right? I don't need to order a small drink. I'm not ordering a small fry. Don't even ask me that question. Okay? 
Let's be real here. Okay. Come through. Two hours, I believe, is when the... Um... There we go. That's exactly what I was thinking. Fix them up a bit. Train them out. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. I wonder where we're going to sit when all this stuff is up and going and running. I wonder where all of our... Just everything. I wonder what we're going to be at. Probably the greatest damn business empire CEO 19-year-old you've ever seen. Hey, Lily is getting a little bit out of hand here. Oh, because Lily wants a full-time job? Well, Lily, let me tell you. Let me tell you. You're probably right. Is it Lily? Oh, shit. She's working way too much. Uh, Lily, you don't need to work that damn much. It's good, Lily. You're fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to open up on Sundays eventually. Drinks will run out soon at the grocery store. Hopefully we can uh, take care of that. Soda cans. Okay. Uh, all right. We might need to order a lot of soda cans from here on out. Up to see. Okay. 25,000. I can't remember what's the most money we've ever made in a single day. I think it might have been 29,000 in a single day. Hit me with another 24 hours sleep. $14,000 and a bunch of things were. A lot of things were closed, right? A lot of things were closed. Okay. Let me eat some food real quick. We're going to need to go to the grocery store as well. Okay, so now we're actually going to start uh, implementing some of these people. Uh, some of these people are done. Uh, what the hell is your problem, Dominic? Oh, we called out sick today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, some of these people will be coming in. Uh, yeah, like for you, I, you, you're fine. You, whatever. We'll, we'll send that off. You... We'll let you keep cleaning, and then... So, these two people can actually join in. Now, these two people have very bipolar, uh, different kinds of uh, days. It's actually a really good combo that we have here, so to speak. One works... One says no night shifts. One says yes... Uh, no morning shifts. Sorry. So, I'm going to put these people... Into the new coffee business. I think that works out pretty good. I think that's a nice little little thing there. So they're gonna work at the coffee cup of cup cup my cans, and I think that shall be good. Yeah. Hey Danielle Smith, thank you for giving a membership to Ambers. That's a big ups. Big ups to you. Big ups to Ambers for picking up that gifted membership as well. Hey well. Thank you for that. Very appreciative. Alright, so let Hey, what the heck? All right. Um, pop an attitude and find out. Okay, let's see here. We want... Actually... We want one of these employees, right? Training, 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 cleaning. You're at the cans away. Frick. Okay. I should have actually not have done that. that that's fine. That's, we're, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. It's just one day. It's just one day. We're, it's, it's fine. We're fine. Cut my cans. Put these people on, on, on go here. And the way I'm going to do this, again, I'm going to do it with the five days a week thing um, and leave as is. However, the coffee shop will open quite early. Um, and then the coffee shop will be open 16 hours a day. This one in particular. This is the one in the middle of the heart of the city, right? Let's do that. And then we'll add more people to work these stations, like another employee to run this. And then we'll obviously add the cleaning station and all that. And then we'll have people that actually cover Sundays and things like that too. 5 a.m. to 2100. What's 2100? 2100 is... nine p.m.? Is that 9 p.m.? So 
a Starbucks that opens at 5 a.m. and closes at 9 p.m. Where are we standing? I think that's a pretty decent place, no? Yeah. Do I have HR yet? I do. I do have HR. HR is training a bunch of people right now. Okay. All right. So we're done with that, I think, um, for the most part. So let's go ahead and run it. No, no, no. Let's go to the grocery store first. We'll go to the grocery store first. All right. I think we are we are on our way to having three businesses. Three businesses. Sorry. Two businesses built. We have a grocery store that is technically in operation. We have a coffee shop that will technically be in operation. There's obviously stuff I want to do to the grocery store and things like that and iron it out more and with the more employees and customer service and satisfaction and all that. But at least we can say the open sign is turned on. That's the most important thing. The open sign is turned on. Thank you. Honestly, I should just load up the truck with a bunch of groceries. <laughs> and just... I don't know how much you can put in the refrigerator. How much groceries can you put in the refrigerator? Yeah, HR is the mod team. That is exactly right. You're gonna be rich? I'm hoping that I make enough money to pay off this loan. And then, um... Just kind of go with the pure profits going forward, maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. We shall see. We shall see. I just carried a bag of groceries like two and a half blocks. Okay. Now tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow should see a full day of all the businesses working at once, if that makes sense. There's another 22k day. That's good. That's good. And then, yeah, these guys, for the most part, should be done now, I believe. Okay, let's see here. You. 94%, I'll take it. 93%, I'll take it. Uh, delivery driver, 88%, I'll take it. Uh, you, cleaning, I'll take it. So everybody, I'm taking. So you're going to be put into the cup my cans. Perfect. You're going to be put into warehouse number two that I have yet to name. You are going to be put into the grocery store of the cans way. And you are going to be put into the grocery store as well at the cans way. You will, you will be wearing the grocery store outfit. You will also be wearing the grocery store outfit. You will also be wearing... Nothing, because you're my delivery driver. Delivery drivers honestly don't wear anything. They just... They're... They don't have to wear anything. That's how we roll. When we deliver the packages, we come in the back door. You understand? No clothes needed. Okay. Terrible joke. Um... Coffee shop. Very good. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. So with the coffee shop, what is this? Actually, hang on. Part-time. Okay, we're looking at part-time for Alexander. Alexander. Um, let's just put... Maybe like during the middle of the day. You come in during the middle of the day. Fine. Maybe like that during the middle of the day. Clean. Do that. Now I can put you... That's fine. That's fine right there. Right in the middle of the day. We'll see what happens. It needs to be clean. It needs to be clean. Uh, so that's that. If I need to hire another person, I need to hire another person. Cans away. Now. Sick. Um, two more additional checkouts. These people should be full-time. That's full-time. That's full-time. Easy. Place them. Send them. We're good to go. All checkout counters should be good. Drinks are out of the soda, fridge, and all that. Yeah, okay. Are we out of drinks? 
Fresh food. We're almost out of fresh food. Frozen food. Okay, we should probably purchase some of that stuff. All right, all right, all right. Let's put in 5,000 fresh food. 5,000 frozen food, right? Maybe even more than that. And then give me a bunch of sodas. 5,000 sodas. And then we will order that. There we go. Cool, dude. Cool. Nice. I like it. All right, let's eat some food. Okay, so let's go with a couple of days and see where we stand here with our businesses. See where they stand, not where we stand. I guess it's a we thing. All of our employees have now been assigned. Let's see what happens. $25,000. That's a good day. What I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to burn through a couple of days here. Let the businesses run on their own. Watch to see any drastic numbers go up or down. Actually, check. Let's make sure. Let's check our warehouses first. Warehouses are fine. They're good. Great. Um, satisfaction might be a little bit uh, unbecoming with the um, Guan, 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 Guan Norris. We'll put Norris there. Great, great, great. Um, and then we'll swap those trucks around later as well later. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the next day, see how we're doing on average, kind of build up our average incomes in a way across the board um, for our businesses to see where we stand. <laughs> Oh. <clears throat> we just made forty thousand dollars. We're at a cheap jewelry. Yeah, so this will be um, the warehouse. The other one was food warehouse. This one will be product. Question mark seems kind of fit for that. Yeah. That was a $40,000 day. That means we're doing stuff correctly. Bakery is out of cupcakes because the market is in the high demand, right? Uh, that's actually kind of terrifying with me because we need to add that coffee shop to the um, to the to the to the delivery. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the warehouses and I'm gonna turn these uh, flip these trucks around. I went the wrong way to do that. So that's my life in a nutshell. Run five successful retail businesses. Really, are you sure about that? I don't know. Successful is kind of a loose term here, isn't it? Huh. Can you go into the business and see how things are doing? Like what the people you hired are doing? Yeah, you can watch them. You can watch them do things if you wanted to. If I can slide right on into the DMs here. Oh. Okay. What I want to do is I want to take this truck out. And I want to put this truck in the food place. And put the van in here. That's the idea. Please do not tow. Holy hell. My truck. Don't tow my truck. We're gonna illegally park right here just for a sec. I want that Ford Mustang so bad. We're gonna take this out. Mm. Ah! Any vehicle in the entire game could have spawned. My RNG ass 
just got assed by a truck. What the heck, man? Jeez Louise. Do not touch anything. Don't eat. I'm not in the mood. You you on the horn extra today? I'm going to be on you extra here in a minute. Unreal. I received a message from the city of New York. Shit. They towed my truck, didn't they? Those cowards. Dear sir slash and or madam, we are writing to inform you that your motor vehicle was found illegally parked at 12 p.m. You have been automatically charged with a parking fee of $125 from your primary bank. Don't insult me. My truck better still be there. Goodness gracious. This is ridiculous. This right here, this is musical cars at its finest. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Take me in. Put me out. Dominic. At a destination. No driver? Don't worry about it. You got a driver in me. Driver doesn't have an... Oh, yeah. Whoops. I forgot. I have to scoot him. Scoot him about. Okay, so what I want is the product warehouse. You, can I switch you to food delivery, please? Perfect. Then we'll switch Caleb Watson to the other side. Caleb Watson to the other side. I am drawing a blank. There we go. Where's Caleb Watson? Watson Watson. Can I insult uh, insult them? No. Can I sort sort them? Sort them. There we go. Put you into the product warehouse. Here we go. Alright. Product warehouse. It will be in there. Perfect. Now, back to logistics. Talking about. That's exactly what I want. Up my cans. Perfect. Fantastic. Minimum stock, 500. Minimum stock, 500. Minimum stock, F it, 500. Donuts, donuts, don't need donuts. Paper bags, minimum stock, 2,000. Okay, go to business. We see what we need. We got everything we needed. Honestly, we could probably add a little bit more to the uh, croissant game. So let's do that. I can't see because I'm blind. This is so hard to see. Honestly, I don't even care. Just send it to me. Just give me it. There we go. Holy moly, we've done it. We've actually done it. Have we made... Where's my truck? 40000 Where's my truck? $40,000. Have we made that a regular going forward? That's the real question here. Well, today's Sunday. That doesn't count because most of the businesses are closed on Sunday. So I'm going to run through two days right here. I'm going to run through two days. This is going to be whatever it's going to be. It's not going to be 40 grand. So don't expect 40 grand. It'll be $8,000. But, but, 
tomorrow. Another big jump here. <clears throat> go. Okay, let's run it again. Let's actually wake up a little bit earlier this time. There we go. Twenty-eight grand. Twenty. If you're average, twenty-eight to forty grand, look. Everything is profitable. What do we have it wrong at the jewelry store? Branded cheap ass jewelry. That makes sense. Yeah, I I, I get it. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go into our purchasing agent. We're gonna tell our purchasing agent that we want to get cheap ass jewelry. So give me jewelry for five hundred. That's thirty six k. Okay, give me jewelry for two fifty. Give me more paper bags. Sure, why not? Uh, give me cheap gifts. Sure, why not? And then we want this to be delivered. Actually, hang on a sec. We want to go to this one. This one, yeah. Give me 250. Give me 150. Give me 2,000. Give me 2,000. And we want this stuff to be placed in our product warehouse from here on out. $97,000 that's going to cost. Okay, let's get rid of expensive jewelry. $28,000. How much that's going to cost. That's fine. Add that. Go to our logistics. Um, go to product warehouse. Add destination. You will now go to diamond diamonds jewelry you will spend at least 100 cheap jewelry there 100 expensive jewelry 2000 paper bags um and soda can f off politely right now then the cans get enough of you we'll have 500 500 2,000 and one 200. Now the other person no that's good just that right wait a sec what just happened what have I done oh you have to have a logistics for each oh shoot Oh, shoot. You have to have a logistic manager for each person. Oh, crap. I see. Okay. Well, that actually sucks because now I have to redo all of that. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, that's a bitch. You can have six destinations, though. Okay. Frick. I have to do this all over again. Do you think it would be more profitable to get enough employees to keep every business open 24-7? Uh, maybe. I think it might be a wash on some businesses, but maybe some businesses would benefit from it. Let's go 500. 500. 500? 2,000. I'm doing this straight from the uh, delivery. So the cans and cream also, I can't believe I messed that up. I'm so disappointed. In this actually needs to be, I think, a thousand each at minimum. Go. And then I gotta make sure I have enough storage to fit all these things too. Very upset with myself right now. I hate that it got rid of all of it. So that done, that done. The the grocery store. Technically, one warehouse could actually be fine for everything. Two thousand, maybe or one thousand. Ooh, one thousand just as a happy medium here. Except for the paper bags. 
gift shop. Gift shop can have at least 500 in it. I think 500 should cover it. Or, you know what? We'll just do 1,000. Keep it with 1,000. Go. I love that you can have six destinations, though. That's really nice. Okay, so then we'll do the jewelry next. Are you sure you want to discard this? this yes. Okay, the jewelry. Just 100 is fine. 2,000 paper bags. And I, I don't even know. Do I even have soda there? I don't even think I have soda there. I might have to double check that. So we have the cup of cans. Cans cream. Grocery store. The gift shop. And the jewelry store. So we have five businesses, yeah? That should be it. One, two, three, four, five, six. What am I missing? Oh, well, the can's in order, but that's different. Everything should be back. Yep. Yep. Everything should be back to normal. Let's see. If it is. Hey, Serendipity, how you doing? Good to see you. $23,000. That's nice. So yeah, I think we're, we're pretty much like averaging like I guess you could almost say between twenty to forty thousand dollars. Now today is Wednesday. Industrial coffee machine runs out soon. Okay, that's an easy fix. We can tell them to What wait, what business was that? That was the cup oh, my cans. Okay. Actually, where do we stand here on inventory? Cheap gifts runs out, run out, uh, expensive gifts, this, 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 this. Right. Because we put all the cheap gifts in here, but we can't really do anything with that right now. Let's make another order. This is kind of to help us uh, deal with what we have going on now. Let's get... Um, this order. Not so much, though. Zero, zero, zero. Keep gifts and deliver that to the food delivery. That's fine. Okay. Um, logistics. We'll talk with the what is it? It was the cup cans. Cup cans. We'll talk with the logistics manager. Say hey. This needs to go up in coffee. We'll go two thousand coffee cups there. That should also fix everything else. That should fix everything else. Yep. Reach a valuation of $1 million. Sick. That's awesome. Great news. This is our most profitable day on calendar. I bet you. Wednesdays usually are. Usually are. No, Wednesdays are not. Wednesdays are not most profitable. Sorry. Or at least most profitable. Possible to deliver everything. Is that what that said? That's fine. As long as we have stuff in the warehouse, we're not running out of it right now. What's the alerts here? Cheap jewelry jewelry showcase out of cheap jewelry soon. Got it. Hang on a sec. Let's see here. Let's go um, logistics into cheap jewelry. Expensive jewelry, cheap jewelry. It's at a hundred. Um, that's just because our warehouse, this one right here, doesn't have any cheap jewelry in it anymore. Um, all I really need to do is just hire another logistics manager. That's what I need to do. So that's the next thing. Call. Do I call this place? You're out of business hours? Oh my god, I'm ten minutes out of business hours. Get another logis logistics manager in, and then we will should be okay. We should be all good to go. There we go. You hear the dogs? Crazy. Uh, product warehouse for a not a, okay. That's not what we needed. All again, somewhere else. Product warehouse 
This is the recruitment agency. Doesn't have any available skill for the selected bit. Wait, whoa, 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 City Force. Corporate HQ. Thank you. There you go. Right? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good ups. Good ups. Logistics manager. It doesn't really matter. Just send me one. I'll be fine. All right. That's good. <laughs> I know it's a lot of micromanaging. I know it's a lot of text dialogue. I know it's a lot of this and that and that and this. I think the thrill of it really comes down to, honestly, uh, being able to have it uh, all work in a rhythm, in a, in a beautiful melody, melody, so to speak. So, that's 23 grand. That's nice. Once we can get this other logistic manager up and running, things should be A-OK. -okay. We should be on autopilot for the most part. Go. The one thing about this game is that once you start expanding, you definitely have to think, 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 think about the next thing, right? Medium, you need a coffee machine? Uh, sir, you, I don't even think we have a, a office for you. I'm going to be real with you. You might go into the odd team for all I care right now. I might need to buy you a des desk and everything too. <sighs> I'm going to train you up. And we're going to take care of you, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we'll take care of you. We'll train you up. We'll make sure that we get a office for you. But we also kind of, I, I don't want to mix it. Because I was thinking about putting all the HRs in here. But thinking about it now, you don't need to have 20 HR people, it doesn't seem like. So... I'll probably just send a logistics manager over there as well. And then what I'll do is I'll go buy some offices and things like that. But we have half a million dollars. Yeah, we have half a million dollars. That's nice. They run out of paper bags soon. That should be taken care of, I think, eventually. These people are still out of cheap jewelry, which I'm going to get to you eventually once we get our logistics manager up. This coffee shop is out of sodas, which makes sense because I don't think I actually put sodas in there. For them for the cans and cream maybe i did maybe i didn't but it looks like paper bags are a huge problem for the most part so yeah let's put a thousand in there paper bags this is where everything gets all like crazy right and then we'll have to purchase some more uh, paper bags. But this is where we're going to stop it today because this is past the three hour mark for the most part. We're going to stop it right here. And we've seen that we've gotten $23,000. We've seen that we got $40,000. Everything is up the pro profitable marks here. Uh, there's some things we just need to kind of tweak a little bit. But overall, our satisfaction is looking fantastic. Our profits are looking fantastic. We've made everything profitable. And I think that's something to note is that even the struggles that we had with the jewelry store, if you take a look at it, we actually made it profitable. It is a profitable thing. The Cans and Cream is a sh coffee shop that is still technically profitable, but definitely not as profitable as the one up in Midtown. I think that's where that's at. Law Firm obviously is coming up clutch, uh, but the gift shop is also coming up clutch. So that's going to do in today's stream. Hopefully you all enjoyed what you saw in today's stream. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. I would appreciate that. Thank you, Danielle Smith, for the gifted membership today. And for the people that also uh, re-upped your memberships today, thank you very much for the re-ups as well. I do appreciate it. Your logistics broke today for your third shop after the patch. Wait, there was a patch? When was there a patch? There was a patch for this game? Good to see you. Do you think the paper bags are for certain jewelry customers' heads? Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how many lawyers do i have i have 10 lawyers i have 10 lawyers yep i think 
Pretty sure. Do I have 10 lawyers? Let's see. I have 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No! I only have 8 lawyers. I don't even have 10 lawyers. I need 2 more lawyers to fill out. So maybe I even hire more lawyers coming into the next uh, stream as well. Yeah. I noticed there are buildings that aren't technically for sale, but you can still send an offer to buy the building. Do they ever accept that offer? If so, is there any point in it? I'm not sure. Maybe in the future of the game, there might be. We can technically give back our $500,000 loan as well that we're at. Um, but I like the fact that we still can hire two more lawyers, technically. That's pretty good. Yeah. Anyways, hopefully you all have a great rest of your Monday. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll be streaming again. There's going to be some new games coming to the channel this week as well. So look out for that. I will see you all in the next Big Ambitions. That may be. And do as always. Take care. I, I still haven't fixed uh, this. So this is all you get. This is all you're going to get for today. Have a good one.